Uh, we're ready, baby. Should I do a <laughs> loop of the music again? No, no, no. We're good. <laughs> we're good. And our viewers are slowly coming in. Happy Monday, everybody. Good thanks more. to God it's Monday. Thanks to God it's Monday. Good to be here, everyone. <clears throat> it's 5 o'clock somewhere. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, we have a very special guest with us. Uh, Mr. Tigran Mutafian is here with us. A f- uh, Jor, uh, brother of Dr. Dr. George, George Mutafian. Mutafian. Oh. <laughs> Synchronized. And also, <laughs> also, fellow Lena Gansi. <laughs> Gyumretsi. Gyumretsi. Yeah. Gyumretsi. But Tigran, you can tell he's Gyumretsi, bro. Well, yeah. with George, Gyumretsi you can tell as well. Obvious. Both of them had the very beautiful, elegant Lena Gansi Gyumretsi accent. The... It's prob- I, it. I'd say probably one of the best <laughs> best accents in the world. I'd say. <laughs> I think I mean, he is. Less. I think you would say bias. Little, I think I think it's bias. the sexiest accent in the world. <laughs> I, I think so too. I think uh, so. My too. wife's family is Gimretsi, so I can make fun of Gimretsis. <laughs> I have that badge, right? That's our nature. <laughs> 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 we do make fun of well, ourselves. We have a bunch of people online right now. Mm-hmm. Guys, I know this is our third episode on YouTube. I want to thank every single one of you for transitioning with us from Facebook to YouTube. But I want to ask you guys one thing as we're getting into uh, the groove of everything. I want you to tell us if our if our audio is in sync. So I'm going to clap. Let us know if that audio is, is in sync. And uh, let's continue with the podcast because... Uh, I did a little bit of tweaking on there. I want to make sure everything is exactly the way it's supposed to be. And uh, we should be at 100% as far as with audio and video now. So Was this clap and sync? Did you guys, did the sound and the actual physical movement? Was it in sync, guys? In sync? Was it sync? Because last week we were about about half a, half, like about a millisecond off. Yeah. Just a little bit. But uh, today I actually did some tweaking. That's why... I was on the computer. Arno said we're good. Oh, I see. Okay, we're good. So we're good. Yeah. So Arno's mm-hmm. danced for many years. So if he says <laughs> it, then we're good to go. <laughs> and, and guys, don't forget to like it, share, share it, it, and subscribe. And then hit the little bell icon. Yeah. Hit the bell icon, and then it will give you a drop-down option to sell notifications. Select all. And what that will do is every time we go live, or if we post anything on YouTube, you're going to get notified. There you go. So... Tigran is a filmmaker. Simple. Simple as that. I mean, oh. we, we were in, be, before the podcast began, I was like, Tigran, what are we doing, bud? Tell me. <laughs> are we going director, producer? He goes, filmmaker. Keep it simple. So somebody, w- an Armenian working in Hollywood, that's a, that's a huge deal. So you see everything that's going on behind the camera from start to finish. And normally, let me ask you this before we actually get into, and mind you, we're going to be talking about multiple topics today. We're actually going to get into the economy and China and a lot of other things. Human uh, value. Human values. Yes. But uh, just dabbling a little bit as far as into, you know, what you do for a living. You know, filmmaker, directing, producing, whatever is involved in, in that. How long does a movie normally take as far as behind the camera before it goes into production? depends on your team so because you can if you have a good team and lineups so you can actually uh, do with the distribution with money back like 18 months at least all together of with the production stuff yeah 18 months yeah wow does that include raising funds and all that too or no it doesn't. So even more than that then? Yes, more than that. But I'm talking about if you want to go to the festivals, because usually you have to go to the festivals, like uh, at least a one-year circuit of festivals, if you want to sell it more, like higher price. Yeah. And also for marketing and promotion, so people see what you do. When you say you sell it, mm-hmm. so once the film is made, then you sell it to... Who buys the movie from you guys? So you're looking for it if you're an independent filmmaker. Mm, if your studio is sold, it's pre-sales, you, s- you sell based on who you have. Or if you have a distribution that wants your movie, it's great. But independent filmmakers, they do by themselves. Like they find money by themselves and then you go to... There are there are a lot of platforms for that. Also, there are there is American film market very famous 
So you go there and just sell your project. So you simple. <laughs> essentially looking for distribution. Is that what selling means? Yeah, or? that's great. If you get a distribution, it's great. That's why you want to do your movie with a good production value, with the good actors, if even they are not known. But you still want to, you know, get a great acting. So people say, okay, you don't have name, but it's a good movie. You have good production values, you know, or um, and they can sell it. Mm. And that could be like a make or break for the movie. It and can make it can make the person. It can make the actor. It can make the director, the film itself. I mean, look at how many movies that n- not a lot of people even knew who the actors were went on and won Oscars, Golden Globes. It's o- not that easy, honestly. Uh, behind all these uh, movies that are marketed, you know, like not known filmmakers, is a marketing because basically it's a big pocket game. So <laughs> if you go to the big festivals, uh, it's not. Mm, I don't think so. I mean, it's all big money, or but at the same time, you have to have an amazing project with a, you know, brilliant cast and team. So you have uh, you have to have everything, uh, but but it's not that easy for us. It's different. So you do the project, you create whatever you can. That's why we go to festivals. Because there are some people who are looking for, you know, from the industry, they are looking for new people. If if you even don't make money on that project, for example, Sleepaway, I didn't make much money on that project, but that project gave me a lot of other projects where I made money. <laughs> you know, so it's, it's a very difficult game, uh, and you have to understand that game and always be on the top of your game so you can you can get something but it's very difficult still for example uh filmmaking doesn't give you give me much money as much as cinematography because it's a specific job requires you know like specific skills and they pay mm-hmm. the on daily basis like but the rest is difficult to selling a movie it's very difficult like yeah. what's the difference between what you just said the cinematography and the filmmaking aspect of it cinematography <coughs> is it like post editing or no cinematographer who who is responsible for visuals it's director of photography basically you have a camera you have your crew lighting and you know and you shoot the project like uh, visual so you, visual you have portion. to have the v- yeah you have to have the eye you know wh- you have to figure out where the camera goes in every Absolutely. scene Absolutely, not only camera people <laughs> mise-en-scene how you have to angles lighting uh, you know like everything props you you're designing the composition all visual structures on you the texture the color the, Even the set the settings the are on you yes basically the design of the set settings it's mostly ar- like production designer does with director production designer uh, it's a uh, it's as important as you we say 50 percent of the shot belongs to cinematographer visual uh 50 percent to the production designer because whatever you put in the camera you're gonna have that in the shot so that's why if you have a good production designer it's huge help for cinematographer too you know that's why we try to bring on board good production designers and if it's bad you tell them okay leave that chair and the rest out because shot is yours I mean, you design, you can, you can, let's say, make your composition with a lighting or with a color and use less, <laughs> you know, yeah, less set. So in essence, I mean, there's, I'm sure there have been times where the, a cinema, the cin- cinematographer and the director have clashed them during a scene. A lot, but still director has his own call. It depends who, who is more... Um, who producer trusts more, you know, because uh, I shot a project, I, I was not cinematographer, but I was helping to my, uh, my friend, and he was much more better cinematographer than the director was director. <laughs> so, and that's why we were discussing how to make that pro- project happen. And director was guys okay I'm doing he eventually he was trying to he was fighting but then producer said hey you know what you don't know your stuff so let these guys work so we start working the producers call 
and he couldn't do anything. So we make the project happen. Actually, it's going to come out very soon. We shot in Chicago, so it's really... It came out... Uh, that movie exists because of my friend and mm-hmm. partially me because director was... But director did a really good job on editing. I don't know he did or editor did, but there are different type of directors. They work different. There are directors that even touch your camera. You know, they, they say, no, 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 a little bit. I want exactly... Actually, by the protocol, even the lens choice of the lens is on director. Director can tell you, you have to shoot 35 millimeter lens. And you cannot say no to 50. Because it's, if director, the better is director, the more artistic tools he uses. And he knows what he wants from cinematographer. It's very enjoyable sometimes, but uh, sometimes it's tricky if the director is not good. But we have a rule in cinematography, we say, Eventually, you just need to push the button <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, because because director's call. He's yeah. he is responsible for the movie. Yeah, because so. everything kind of breaks on his yeah shoulders can. at the end of the day. Yeah, but the main person in charge is the production. Production is Producer. basically the boss. Producer yes. is the boss of the project. That's Absolutely. It. Any and any projects you've done that uh, our viewers would be familiar with, as far as movies or music videos or anything. Music videos, yes, probably, because I shoot, as a cinematographer, uh, a lot of Black Eyed Peas music videos. Mm-hmm. So, um, uh, movies, I don't think so, because we don't have, like, studio distribution. It's if, if somebody's savvy on festivals, probably they see us, because we got tons of awards there in different festivals, but no. I mean, only the people that I know or people that were on festivals or, yeah. you know, uh, the biggest project was Sleepaway because it was in Lemley Theatres and we had on Rotten Tomatoes probably um, maybe a year and a half, hundred percent, and then it went, it's still 90 something percent, which is Wh- really hard. What year did that come out? 2018, 2017, 18, yeah. Okay. So the three, four year old movie. Yeah. Sleep away. Yeah. yeah, but it went to festivals. It got pretty good awards all, all over the world. Can you give us just a brief description of what it's about until we get a glimpse of it and actually see it, watch it ourselves? Yeah, actually Movie Central released it March 24th this year. Okay. If you go on YouTube Movie Central website, you're going to see Sleep Away. Or you can go also on my Facebook. It's I share it there, <laughs> so it's there, and you can watch it for free. And what uh, is it, what is it about? What's the plot? That's about. Uh, uh, it's we say, unlikely friendship of an old woman that lives on a boat, and a young composer who is on the edge of becoming a bum, and give it, giving up his dream, but they help each other in that friendship to fulfill their dreams. This is a very touching story. I mean, people like us, especially 50 plus audience loves us, or who loves beautiful, you know, they don't look for, uh, let's say, tons of action, but they look some human relationship. So if, you're, if, you're, if, you're not looking for, if you're not looking for Marvel and DC, no. any of that stuff, you go over here. Watch your movies. Yeah. But no, we're getting a lot of good, good, like I'm getting messages like, wow, we need more movies like this and stuff. Hmm. You, you watch so if for them to watch it, they need to go on your Facebook page? Yeah, or and Movie Central. Movie Central? Is yeah. that a, a website? It's, or a what is big, that? it's a big YouTube uh, channel. They it's on release Amazon Prime as well. Yeah, Amazon Prime. You can buy it on on Movie Central. You can watch it with commercials, but you can if you can buy it, better buy it because um. nobody is gonna disturb you. You get <laughs> into emotions a lot and also help us. And help, <laughs> oh, <and> help. Okay. <laughs> it's like three bucks three or something, bucks, right? Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not gonna break the bank, guys. Let's no, go. <laughs> everyone, everyone, three listening. bucks. As Amazon Prime, <laughs> sleep as, away. As yeah, I always say, don't buy your crappuccino <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and, and watch a movie and with your wife. Movie with your wife. <laughs> yeah. Come to our studio. We'll give you a Crespresso. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, 
Ophelia was asking, um, so are you a DP? Are you yes. producer in charge of the uh, whole production from pre-post to post-production? DP, yes, I'm DP. I do mostly. Let's say DP pays my bills, okay? But I do producing too. And when you produce, you do A to Z. Actually, you choose the script. Sometimes if the investor comes to you with his script or her script, then you work with that. But mostly it's um, like producing is, uh, it's your, because it's your product. Actually producing mm, whatever you do, it's your product. <laughs> mm. Best film, okay, let me tell you this way. Maybe it will be easier. If you get a best film nomination, it goes to producer. There is no, uh, let's say, best producer nomination or award. The film, yeah. best film, is producer's award because you put together a whole team. It's whole team's actually award, but you put together. You you hired that director. The person you in charge, the, basically. You know, <laughs> like yeah. this is this is yeah. your creative part. But there are some producers who stay on non-creative side. They just organize the move. They know how to produce it, like make it happen. Uh, that usually happens when your director is very good and holding the creative side. So mm -hmm. you don't want to jump in and you're hired producer. Yeah. So that's when you like. Um, do you have a do you have a favorite movie? Because, you know, so, so many people, for example, say um, like Godfather or Gone. Uh, Gone with, the, with wind. the wind, and some of these classics, where that's w that's how filmmaking should be. But f as a professional yourself, what is a movie that you watch and where you've watched it numerous times and never gets old? Uh, never gets old. Um, but but that's also kind of maybe even inspired you or uh, taught you giving you input on how how you should approach uh, cinematography yourself and while you were asking these questions of tongue <laughs> moves and because <laughs> they're for inspiration and for professional purposes i watch one type of movies i like one type of movies for myself personal i watch mostly animations i love animation animation like yeah uh, like animates and animation animated movies hmm. because stories are much better there so Pixar, Disney stuff yes, like that. Really? Yes, yeah. I wow. I watch a lot. <laughs> That's good. I was not uh, expecting that. Honestly, <laughs> I wasn't either. But professionally, <laughs> what I like, I love, for example, Christopher Nolan's Memento. You know, like it's an amazing movie. I love Seven. Maybe you know that movie. Was I that the one with Brad Pitt? Seven. Seven. Yes, absolutely. Okay. I love uh, professional wise because the cinematography is is crazy. It's Darius Konji shot that project, and it's amazing. And this is uh, this is when he was fighting whole Hollywood studio production, <laughs> putting small lights, and the yeah. whole team was like crazy. But they didn't know how how good he is. And then, of course, they realized that he's like one of the top Hollywood DPs and. Eventually, he worked with all famous directors, and then he said, I'm "Goodbye, out. I'm going back to student projects really? and shorts." Yeah, but no, he's doing stuff, but he's Persian, by the way. Yeah, he's um, he's well, amazing. The name, the name gave it away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's amazing. I love him. I love his works. He's um, he's the guy. Who, he's the path for the independent cinematographer because. Uh, the way he works, the way he understands the story, the way he builds, how he makes the lighting, it's possible. You just need a talent and knowledge. You know, you can you can get there. It's not like you need tons of money and stuff to make it happen. Mm -hmm. Of course, he can do, depending on project, he can do anything. But he shows a way that you can work, um, you know, in a, in a low budget scale, but still reach to some height high production value so lighting seems to be a constant factor why is lighting so important <laughs> turn off the light now i'll tell you <laughs> <what> <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to test it out <laughs> <laughs> see when you say lighting gate when when game of thrones last season came out there was one episode i forgot which one it was i think it was the uh 
third no it was the it was the one where they fight the actual night i don't know have you seen game of thrones any, yeah. any other, okay when they fight the night king mm-hmm. and they fight everybody as far as in the dark and when they went back to the director they said the majority of the movie the majority of the uh, episode was almost pitch black you that's, couldn't that's, really see that's anything. That's the key word, almost. Yes, almost <laughs> pitch black. And they were saying, why, did, why was it like that? You could barely see everything. And, they, and the director was saying, I wanted the audience to get a visual as far as what the characters were seeing during the battle, mm-hmm. during the war. So mind you, it's in, it's, like I said, it was filmed in almost pitch black. You're watching it. And when you watch it the second and third time, then you realize and appreciate why he did it the way he did it. Because you kind of, you get into that whole character's visualization as far as what they're seeing. Again, I mean, this is to anybody who's watched, who's watched Game of Thrones and understands, you know, the plot of it would kind of appreciate, you know, what, what they did. But, uh, but do you guys have a favorite movie? Mr. <laughs> Armand. I was going to ask the same. And again, this is, this is a broad question. It is. When people say, do you have a favorite movie? They go, oh, well, I have a favorite comedy movie. I have a favorite drama, drama movie. I have a favorite, you know, horror movie. But is there truly a movie that you would consider through comedy, through uh, horror, everything would be probably one of your favorite movies? And you're well, next. Well, there, there's two movies that come to mind. I mean, you know, the classics, like the... Uh Again, um, no, no uh, specific genre, whether it's right. a classic. For, exa- for me, for me, The Godfather 1 and 2 were great. 3, I didn't care for. Uh, it was just, there were a lot of life lessons in that movie. Um, again, I'm not a production guy. I, uh, they could have shot it with an iPhone or with a, I, I wouldn't really know the difference. Yeah, so you know. Um, so, but, but to me, but then you, uh, there's other movies which probably most people haven't heard of. Maybe uh, like Sliding Doors with Gwyneth Paltrow. I think it was a low-budget movie. But it was really interesting because um, basically the movie's about she, she's coming home from work. She takes the subway. Uh, and it's two, two different lives within a two-second difference as far as one, one part of the movie, she misses the subway, so she gets home late. And then... The other part of the movie is she makes it home and catches her fiancé cheating. Mm-hmm. And then it just goes to show you how one moment... But then the whole movie is really interesting as far as how so many things in life, um, just one second of here and there could completely alter your life forever. What was that movie called? Uh, Sliding Doors. Sliding Doors. And then there's this other one I saw a couple years back, and I can't seem to find the title because I've been wanting to... I recommend it to people, but I can't find the title. Again, a low budget, no, no famous actor in that one, especially. Where this kid, um, this kid really wants to date this girl in high school, and but you know he's he gets bullied. He's not a popular kid, and then his dad said, maybe somebody has seen this movie and can tell me what the title is. And the father says, by the way, son, you know in our family, uh, men have this power where you can go back and change whatever you like in your past. So the father teaches the son how to do that. And he's able to go back, change a couple of things in his childhood where he gets to go out on a date with that girl. But that change then completely alters his life again where now... Creates a new future. a, A new future that he's not sure if that's really what he wanted. Was it worth having that girl and everything else he lost? Or or not? So See, it's, it's that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, that's weird. I mean, it's a fantasy sort of movie, yeah, but it's yeah. interesting. Well, it, it, it is, but it's not because yes, we cannot go back and change it. But just think about it: if you did not marry the woman you were married, for example, or uh, the 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 career one, you chose, one wrong or, turn driving, yeah, bro. It's a- anything different. Those are the type of movies I like that are so relatable, where you can truly you're, it, it makes you think you know what movie you would like then you would like the movie click with adam sandler oh i cried bro in that movie yeah, yeah me too i oh, cried yeah. in that movie <laughs> when you've <laughs> seen it click yeah, of course that yeah. guys are emotional have you seen it <laughs> yeah, I, yeah look i don't you, watch you're telling you're, you're, you're telling i haven't seen it. okay go watch seen. click 
But here's the thing. I can't watch movies, bro. I tend to sleep, honestly. Mm. Even when I go to the movies with my wife. So do you have a favorite movie? Yeah, I do. What is it? The Scent of a Woman. That's probably all time one of my Scent favorites. Scent of a Woman was uh, with uh, Sharon well, Stone? No, no. no. It's uh, with Al Pacino. Uh, Al Pacino yeah, and who? Al Pacino. It's a no-name actor guy. Bro, it's about this kid that's in uh, Harvard or some big-time school mm. and for not snitching on someone. Mm-hmm. And he runs into Al Pacino and they become friends and Al Pacino lets him and he's blind. Al Pacino is playing this movie all he's just blind the whole movie. Yeah. He's a general. He comes and stands up for the little kid at the wow. university and it's an amazing movie. Like Uplifting. Look, I don't like him as a person, everyone knows that. But <laughs> him as an actor in that movie, it's really hard to do, bro. Like to play a blind person is not an easy task. Well, yeah, I mean, r- remember, Benno was on our show yeah, three definitely. episodes ago, and him being an actor would say, when I go to an event or I go to somewhere where I have to be a character, I leave myself at home, and the character goes to wherever he needs to go to. Yeah. I'm like, do you ever break character? He goes, no. Just like in Disney, Disneyland, bro, they never break character. Even well, on set, like he's not. Remember, Vike said that too when we were. You know, you know Vike from Uncle Raphael. Uh, mm-hmm. I, f- I, c- I can never Pir- pronounce his name. Piram 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 He has he has a very difficult last. He did Uncle <laughs> Raphael. He did. Um, Amazing uh, guy. Uh, mm. The um, Tenny. Yeah. Tenny. Yeah, exactly. uh, but he was talking about how when he wears the costume for. Rafael Kerry, then he's Rafael Kerry. The personality, the way he talks to people, the way he responds to everybody, it's he's like, I'm in that character and I just respond to them as Uncle Rafael would, not as Vaik. And I guess that's it's, it's, that's it's common with actors. It's yeah. different. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> there there are actors they play chess and you say, Hey, it's your time. He's like, just wait a minute, wait a minute, don't touch it, don't yeah. touch it. And he goes and plays and comes back and continues the Definitely. chess. The other guy is like in the morning, day, there I have an actor who said, you know, uh, I have to play this this small part when uh, when he, um, like, his father is died, um, you yeah. know, passed away and mm-hmm. he has to, like, he said, please can you tell me that uh, at least 24 hours prior, what day we're going to shoot because I have to go through some memories. They're different but actors have great imaginations <laughs> they live yeah. there maybe they leave themselves in the home maybe they bring <laughs> themselves in there it's great i love them it's very tough it's very it's hard tough work. it's very hard it's very people don't understand how hard to be a good actor what's and your favorite by the way aren't they cute matching their with their <laughs> olive green by the way at the end, at, hold on at the end of the show i'm going to tell you guys a secret about these shirts yeah, it's it's very okay. weird. It's very strange, but I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you guys something about these shirts. They're the same exact shirt, but I'm gonna save you guys a ton of money. Uh, I think that's the shirt they give away when you get circumcised. No, no, no. no? That one's at home. That one's at home. Oh, that's and okay. I never I'll wear that next. I'll wear that. I'll, be- I'll wear that next week. Uh, that's messed up, by the way. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. From you. Why? What's wrong with being circumcised? <laughs> well, you are. Then you enjoy. Not it. as I'm a not baby, as an, as adult. an adult. Yeah. What's wrong with being circumcised? As an adult. As an adult. What's wrong with, um, again? As an adult. Yeah, you just have to wear that, you know, those dogs <laughs> wear it when <laughs> so they don't, <laughs> you got to wear it around your crotch for three weeks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, okay. Yeah. Favorite movie, I'd probably say, oh shit, man, it's a toss up between two, but. Borat. The, the <laughs> one, no, the one movie I could watch every <laughs> single time and just from beginning to end would probably be Forrest Gump. Yeah. yeah, that's a good movie. That's a good. Movie. That was a good movie. Too. That movie, I don't know why and I don't know how, but it just ties in certain events in history where the director did an amazing job as far as fitting Forrest Gump into that particular part of history. And I think it was Spielberg who directed no, it, right? Who was the director for that? It's movie? Robert Zemeckis. I would recommend to watch all his movies because he's. Uh, like a living legend. Yeah, it's just some. I mean, I don't. Tom Hanks did a great job yeah. playing that role as a well, as a handicap. I would say. I don't want to say Tom Hanks can play cast where it's just him and a 
volleyball again right there's another movie again <laughs> cast uh, castaway right castaway, yeah. that movie again he lost weight for that movie he like grew out the hair the beard everything i mean you really gotta kind of mentally put yourself into that role i mean all i mean he's a great actor but forrest gump i'd say forrest gump is probably one of my favorite movies of all time i could watch that anytime it's on yeah. tv john was asking um what do you think of Otto Megoyan's work? Um, you know, I, I, I didn't see much of his works, but I saw a couple of movies, uh, especially on festivals. Yeah. So, I mean, he's a very serious filmmaker. <laughs> he, he's the type of a filmmaker that, um, okay, uh, let's say art filmmaking. In Hollywood, they don't love like the word art <laughs> because they say it's like they say um, if it's good movie then it's art uh no there are some certain uh filmmakers uh, that have their own assumption of their reality so they they don't uh, they don't go for the you know commercial projects even if it's a good commercial mm -hmm. They, their idea is not thinking about how to make money or how to get the producer or how to get the investor. They're thinking how to uh, share their um, artistic vision of the world. Atome Goen is a filmmaker like that. So he, that's why he has tons of respect. And this is, this is real filmmakers. Mm. This, this people that I really like. I, I don't want to say that Spielberg is not a real filmmaker, but... <laughs> um, Spielberg? As an art, as an art, uh, people like Tarkovsky, Atome Goyan, this is, this is different because Cameron and Spielberg, they are amazing, but they still work on, on pro oh, Spielberg, for example, I, I, E.T. for me is a big project, like Spielberg's works yeah. as a, as a, as a filmmaker, like as a good filmmaker, but still you have, you know, this sci-fi elements there. But uh, Schindler's List made him, for me, as a art director, big director. That you was know, a exactly. completely <laughs> different movie. Yeah, I mean, yeah, of course, that was a piece of art. Yeah, that's when he said that he's not just a Hollywood filmmaker. He's bigger than. That. Have you guys seen Schindler's mm -hmm. List? I've seen it. Yeah. yeah, it's an amazing movie. I mean, but there are some good filmmakers here who do art. For example, again, we when we talk Scorsese. If you have seen *Raging Bulls*, it's completely complete art, That's art filmmaking. De Niro, right? Yes, but then I don't know what he did really well. I mean, everything is great what he does, but you know, in art world, people are if you commit to something that artists want, uh, then they start judging you. Why you're not doing any more art? For example, like Tarkovsky, or like you know, like this big film, like. Even Lars von Trier, you know, those big guys that they are boring for some people. They are they are not respected for some values, but they are honest, fully going in with their vision of the world. But also, you are human. I mean, you can be talented, but you you want to do animations. I hope you will do a couple famous movies, make a lot of money, and doing animes because I love animes. You well, know? what do you ask you? Let me ask you this: since you're talking about directors, so why aren't you making animes? It's very expensive, even expensive than <laughs> movie, <laughs> movie making. Really? <laughs> yeah. I, I would imagine it'd be much cheaper, wouldn't it? No, oh, man. Are you kidding me? You have to have a great team who trusts you, animators. It's a very tough job. If if you can, you know, pull favors on independent filmmaking and make a, let's say, $100,000 movie, uh, you cannot do, like, $100,000 animation. I remember, I remember I was selling this one house. There was a tenant in the home. And we walked into his bedroom. He had four monitors set up. Yeah. Two giant computers. And he was working on a project. And he had cans of Red Bull and chips and all this stuff. And right off the bat, like the buyers and I knew were like, this guy's 100% in like animation or something. I was like, oh, give me one second. Let me just pause everything, and then you guys could come inside the room and check it out. Paused everything, left, came back. And, I mean, our, our, me being a movie junkie, I asked him, I said, what are you working on? 
And at the time, he was like, How to Train a Dragon. It was an animated wow. film. He's like, and I'm like, what do you, what do you do? He goes, oh, I'm, I'm involved in post production. Like I do all, well, not him only, but him yeah, and a, a crew tough. do all the animation, make sure the audio and the video and everything is in sync. Hundreds of people work. Yeah, and he said, <laughs> the same. And we, we like we talked. I talked. I brought up Toy Story at the time with him, and I said, when Toy Story first came out, it was so different than it is today. And he said, if we were to film Toy Story uh, now, as far as the rendering of it and making sure all the pixels and all the motion and everything, he's like, it takes a couple hours. But he's like, back then when they did it, he said it took like days and weeks to get the rendering like in sync together. And I was like, how? He goes, it's just the technology has changed so fast, so quickly. Well, soon it would be cheaper, I guess, with the technology advancing, more movies would go with animation. Yeah, like go listen, go watch, go watch Toy Story one. Uh, you won't, it. you won't see, it, you won't see a lot of faces in it. Very rarely, faces as, as in yeah, human it's like faces. The parents are the only faces. You'll you see, see the parents as stuff, but you won't see. You'll never see a full body shot. Because it was difficult that, mm-hmm. no. it, it back then they get, didn't have the technology. It was or? very difficult. And then when you watch Toy Story one and you watch Toy Story let's say four or three right off the bat you could see the clarity the motion everything is just so different i mean mind you disney does a freaking amazing job with their animated movies like my daughter watching moana you look at the ocean and the the island and everything it looks real it looks like it's like <laughs> it's legit but it's, it's all internet animated. it's all internet hey, internet internet <laughs> uh, uh, so some of our viewers are saying it, it, the movie was called About Time. That's what it's called. You're oh, right. Oh, the one yeah, you were wa- yeah. the one, okay. It's called About Time. So if you guys, when you guys have time, check it out. Some check other, out About Time. Yeah. Some other movies that uh, some of our viewers, let's see, enjoy Goodfellas, Casino, Absolutely. The Shining. Absolutely. Ooh, Shining. Um, one flew over the cuckoo's nest. Yeah, that one is a good movie with uh, Jack Nicholson. Have you seen that? I've seen that. Which too. one? Uh, one flew over the cuckoo's nest. It's a guy who basically is supposed to go to jail, but he basically says he's actually crazy. So they send him to an insane asylum. I remember something like that. And, well, then, and I, he's and he's basically with a bunch of crazy people. See, I don't remember. This, you remember every movie as if you as if you watched it an hour ago. I'm Seriously, a movie though. junkie, yeah. bro. I love There's it. only four movies I remember like that. No, probably. no, man. Everything no. else, even in wife, no, I watched it two days classics. ago. I can't remember. You can't, yeah, bro. Oh, that's that's Kubrick. There's see, there's there's stuff inside movies where it just kind of hits home with you, where you don't forget it. Like that co- one flew over the cuckoo's nest. One of my favorite scenes is where a couple of the patients that were there, they were actually discharged. And mind you, this is something where you should watch it because you're in the medical field. Like they were discharged from the mental institute, yeah. but they continued to come there. Why? Because it was kind of like they got used to it. What I thought a, no, you were going to no, say since I've been to a mental institute, I, can <laughs> I relate, hope not. I could relate <laughs> to it. I hope not. <laughs> not today. Uh, I hope not. <laughs> what are your What are your thoughts on uh, Scorsese? Uh, not Scorsese, Tarantino, as far as his directing style, because he's probably one of the most over top directors out there. I, I really like his Pulp Fiction. Like, Pulp Fiction for me is his best work. I know people like Kill Bill or other projects. I don't like... Inglorious Bastards. Yeah, I mean, no, that's, that's all, you know, it's great. He's an amazing filmmaker. But directing-wise, uh, Pulp Fiction is the top for me because he did, like, something that is has never done before and he did amazing. It's still, you know, a work that you watch constantly to understand how it's done and and uh, I always say that if you want to understand the idea of that movie just try to re-edit that movie in a you know like in a uh, chronological way (laughs) it's not going to work (laughs) you can't but how the vision and mind works to make that movie amazing it's like it's beautiful it's amazing but but I want to talk about Kubrick a little bit because see even Kubrick, people, yeah, because he's he was uh, the the movies that we mentioned, Shining and One mm-hmm, Flew mm-hmm. from the Cuckoo's Nest, is the same director. Mm-hmm. Kubrick oh. is this is this is a 
um, he's probably in in uh, Hollywood history he's one of the most successful artist directors and plus commercial directors he's respected from both sides he's amazing like I would put him on number one in in in, in scale wow yeah that's why you remember because he understands very well I will learn from him a lot he, he, he taught in schools everywhere is a like is an icon that's that's and a lot of young filmmakers they even even filmmakers you know they they follow they still still watch shining several times I did by myself what I mean all his projects because it's it's amazing and he never repeats himself. Every movie is like a <laughs> something unique and, and big. And see, we've talked about sequels off off the podcast as far as actual sequel sequels. And have you ever seen a sequel that's as good as the first? Uh, I think there are sequels that are better than the first. <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> Don't uh, I know I know really? one of the movies. Which one? Like which one would be better? like uh, Alien? I, oh, Alien, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Alien was good at the beginning, but I think later on they start doing it. Ridley Scott. You like the Alien did. movies or the ones where Alien Predator? No, Alien. Oh, no, no, no. Alien, Alien Predator was Alien. dead. Oh. They just okay. they they killed it. You know, it's all about again. It, it's all about uh, you know your preference of what you like. When you watch a movie, you have to. Uh, you cannot force I cannot force you to like Matrix or something else I love Matrix by the way the dramatic stru structure of the Matrix is amazing the best actor yeah it's uh, I mean it's amazing not just good I would teach like on Hamlet Shakespeare literature <laughs> the same I can teach on Matrix the drama so good it's done but you cannot explain that you cannot unless you you know, you teach, you yeah. you tell what it is. So, so just don't think about what good movie is good. The good movie is that movie that brings you to some level of understanding yourself or the world or your relationship with your family or, uh, you know, your attitude toward the world or your family or your kids. That's if message gets into you, that means it's a good director. If there's no message, it's also good because sometimes you want to go to the movie to watch it, you know, just for relaxation. Like you bucket know. bucket list is a message <laughs> message movie. Bucket the list. bucket list, one of the best message movies. That's what the uh, and uh, what's his name? Jack Nicholson and <laughs> Morgan, Freeman. Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman. Man, Morgan. that <laughs> movie. If you watch it and it doesn't give you like an imagination of what your life is going through today yesterday and tomorrow you it's it just gives you a wake-up call tells everybody that look life can just do you have a bucket a list i actually do man it's like an actual list or yeah. it's in your head no no it's a list yeah. oh you have it written down yeah definitely. no shit you guys don't no no i mean i have a little notepad as a secret but i write shit down <laughs> Oh, you have a diary? <laughs> I guess you can call it that <laughs> shit. He's like a teenage no, it's girl like with under a diary. his pillow. <laughs> he sits it's in his bed. Key. Well, it's not lock and key, but it's like it's today hello, during it, the show. Think it's about it. Hello Kitty. Armon defended me three times. <laughs> <laughs> three times. That would be a record. Uh, but no, man. like once a month, once once every two months, I do sit down for like a good thirty minutes and write shit down. Look at this guy. He's the Tony Robbins of diet. You know what it's funny? Remember we talked about affirmations before? You yes. say I don't do affirmations. That's an affirmation, buddy. Yeah, I know, but it's 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 not about I don't use that for uh, your bucket it's list not is for work. I have nothing for work. work. It doesn't have to be with work. I know. It's just stuff I write down for myself. It's not something to I for share. you to achieve something, right? No, no, no. It has nothing to do with achievement. You for no, something no, no. for you to complete something to no, do something. No, it has nothing. What I mean, the hell look, are you writing I down? I can write down. I'm my bowel movement now. was <laughs> later <laughs> this afternoon. No, it has a lot to do with life and future plans, but it has nothing to do with financial well, that's end of it. Well. Well, it doesn't have. It doesn't have to be financial. Yeah. I understand. That's what I'm telling you. It's just not financial. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's something you want to achieve—a goal or something. Where, again, mind you, a goal doesn't have to be something financial. It I can know. be something where you set a goal. I gotta go to Disneyland. <laughs> you go to Disneyland. You achieved your goal. 
Well, it's still financial, though. It is financial. You need money See? to go to... to these <laughs> unless, days, like unless, I just told uh, you, it's unless, not unless you win the tickets. These days, oh, you need about... Oh, that was sick one. <laughs> <laughs> I just got it. <laughs> <laughs> these days, you need about 15 grand to go to Disneyland. You gotta pull up equity off of your house. Seriously. <laughs> like, it even, is it open? Does it not exist It's now? almost open. On the 25th, I think. Or so. Was it the 25th? I thought it was June 15th. Do, do you guys it? have a bucket list since you guys like making fun of mine? I have no, I no. as far as bucket list as far as something to do before I die. Yeah, there are countries I want to visit before I die. Well, that's part of have the bucket list. It down? Majority of my bucket list is down, that, no. bro. No, I haven't written it down. Green, probably making moves, but I would not say bucket list. It's just uh, step by step goals. The reason I brought that movie up is I wanted to discuss life in itself with you (laughs) so i thought that's a human value human (laughs) values and that movie brings out human values it does if you look at how people can actually go from dude he he was a mechanic and five days later he's on a he's about to die yet going around the world seeing everything he wanted to see in his life that's crazy i haven't seen that movie i've I've heard of it i haven't seen it personally if you if you uh allow it to affect you and think about yourself it's really interesting that's the way i watched that movie and i was like wow that's that's impressive yeah and the ending is not the best but hey levick says the terminal i've watched the terminal that's yeah. another great movie mm. again tom hanks is in it mm-hmm. have you guys seen the terminal was it Catherine, Catherine zeta jones, jones yeah. tom hanks he leaves his country of krakosia or something yeah, like that Krakosia. and then the country basically goes Independent or like bankrupt. kind of or bankrupt, <laughs> something like that. The name changes. And the, the country, pass, yeah, the, the country, passport's no longer. Yeah, yeah, the passport's no longer valid, and he's basically stuck in the terminal. He figures out how to read it and write and speak mm-hmm. English through books and the carts. He returns to the to the stalls and he gets coins and he goes and eats whoppers. And it's crazy. And he lives at the terminal. And he lives right? at the terminal. For like tw- almost 20 years or something? No, 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 no. Not 20 years. A couple. It's like a couple of weeks or something like that. Actual, 20 there was years. an actual person that lived in an airport. He was stuck there for like 20 years. That I don't know. That I don't, I don't stuck know. Stuck for 20 years? Yeah, he, he had some type of paperwork issue, so he lived literally in the airport for a very long time. That's not being stuck. That's it's called welfare. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I don't think it is. Come on. <laughs> you so you think that's an easy life in itself to be stuck somewhere for twenty years, not getting out of the airport. You can't leave the airport. Uh, I'd like to read about that. I've yeah. never. Heard I've never heard of it yeah. either. I mean, I'll if it's Dubai's it airport, I'd love to stay in Dubai's <laughs> airport. <laughs> He's like, I have the club membership. I'm good to go. I'm <laughs> living here. Well, Las Vegas all you can airport. eat buffet and all you can drink, John. Uh, well, best place to sleep too. But I mean, you were talking about you. You were saying life. Yeah. You we'll bring continue. up, br- continue it. Yeah. Tell well, us, I mean, please, I'll elaborate. Just, uh, actually, I wanted to hear from Tigran as far as what he thinks we should be talking about with the human life. Where are we gonna progress to? Where do you see humans? I mean, evolution as far as where are we headed as a whole? I'm not talking about a country. I'm talking about humans as look, we humans have been around for like thousands of years. Each one of us lives under 100 years. What we leave behind, what we do in our lives, those are the things that interest me. And I would love to see your point of view and, on that. And, and you you should be able to, well, uh, not should be, but as far as, because there's a lot of movies that have become reality today, right? Yeah, I mean, the, the pandemic, for example, right? We've seen how many movies the last 10, 15 oh, years. Oh, yeah about about a pandemic. virus yeah and, this and, that. and then you've got the other um j- was it judge dread with sylvester stallone where it's uh, it's all in the future and one with tom hanks mm-hmm. about the future where cops arrest you before you've done something wrong right you uh, know no, it's with tom cruise tom it's cruise yeah what was it called Which minority one? minority report, report. Yeah. You, know, you know there's Spielberg. there's a company that's working on that actually mm-hmm. uh they're working on this ai which is gonna give you kind of like life credit in a sense how um, how likely you are to commit a crime or to, to to violate let's say traffic violation or anything and based on that they 
they could pull you over they can do I mean, all these movies that we've seen 20 30 years ago see that's the stuff i never understood as far as those life credits you guys talk about i know china is implementing that stuff right on their phones or whatever it is yeah yeah no, not only china it's going to be in many countries but before that i want to tell you actually there is a girl i don't remember her name she's in israel what she did he created an ai and she started feeding ai with uh, with news news yeah all the news and uh, uh, trying to find correlations between the news and for example uh, she was on ted talks and uh, and after 10 15 years it started working for example the tornado in uh, let's say i don't remember oklahoma but yeah in oklahoma may trigger uh, um, protest in asia in some countries so she finds really weird correlations mm -hmm. and and it goes really um how to say wild on the predicting the future based on ai which is which is very very dangerous because uh, if ai is able to predict something and uh, maybe AI is able also to change something, <laughs> right? <laughs> At some point, which is dangerous. W in, in terms of uh, going where we are going, I think mm, absolutely clear that humanity failed in their way of development, like uh, preserving the nature and stuff. It's clear for me today, we, we have to change. What like do you mean by that? Now, you're talking about global warming? Everything, you know, how the way we live the structure, the strategy, what we, our contemporary values, how they develop, it's, um, it's awful. Uh, on my, like my lim opinion. Lim here's my, w the way I look at it is, people that lived uh, before we did, 300 years, 500 years ago, they were much more brutal than the people today. Much more brutal. In yeah. what they would do to one another. So, look, right? Yep. Throughout the years, I mean, thousands of years ago, people had slaves, right? They would just mass murder people, and people got better at get coexisting over the years. And we're doing better today than we have in the future. And I don't see that problem. So before, yeah, that's that's a good good example. I would. Uh, so let's say before what you had, you had a sword and you were fighting with a sword and you see your enemy in your eyes and yes. you know it brutality were between you or between uh, you both or let's say your friends and the village mm -hmm. and you were going there and you have the sword and you start killing right yes and then we had guns and yes. we, we we were able to kill from the far right yeah. so that means now different people can kill so you involve more people in the murder right so let's say if before uh, that guy has a sword and he was killing you then if you cannot operate the sword so you're gonna die that's it or at least maybe you will be pardoned by the guy who has a sword right but if you have a gun you can kill that guy with the sword he wants to kill you but you also can kill him right and then later on it goes to the war let's say so in, Ar in armenia you go right now it's a fifth generation war you even you want to fight your maybe you think you you're a better your enemy, fighter basically. you don't see they just uh, throw the bombs on you it comes from nowhere in seconds and it's then it goes adapting to adapting to war basically it's a new era of war yeah new era of war and what if tomorrow comes a person who thinks he's next uh, Genghis Khan or he's next next Hitler we have one and now. He, he and he has and he has different type of weapons right so the more so the whole idea of us using a power in order to dominate it's even in your house you can you can see when you your kid is there you are in competition you want your kid be the best you want to your kid you know your friend or you want to do in a business you go to the competition this whole competition idea is uh, devastating for the human values 
But unfortunately, it's great for economy. Think, but think about it this <laughs> way: the competition started back in those thousands of years Absolutely. ago. The competition was the sword. The that same sword was the competition. So it's still competition, and as humans, <laughs> it's nature to be competition. Everything you answered on your question. Yes. Nothing changed. Yeah. So why that's do why you we think failed. We're still in the mind of operating. You know, in, on a level of a stone. I have a stone and I'm gonna, you know, get that piece of meat or I, I can throw something better than you, then I'm gonna have something to eat and yeah, that one and that can't yeah. throw is and we start. And that's the rule of power, right? And you think that's ever gonna change? I hope so. I, I at least when I'm making my <laughs> movies or doing movies, I'm trying to change that. Do you have a vision of what you would replace that with? Yeah. Absolutely. Can we get an idea of it? Let's all competition. Let's say sports, for example. It's all competition. As human beings, like you said, we take our kids and you cheer for the team your kids on. Na it's nature. You th you're not gonna take your kid and your kids wearing a red jersey. You're not gonna go and stand where the blue jersey parents are and scream "Go blue!" You're not gonna do that. It's natural. You're gonna go stand with all the parents supporting your kids' team and just hooray! Yeah, it's yeah. just nature. Absolutely, right? but nature. How do you replace that? You're gonna tell me we in don't need thirty to years we're gonna just not well, cheer or not have sports? How, what's the no? It's where it, are we it, going? It's 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 a bit. No, I'm not talking about that. So, um, you know, there are uh, certain bacteria that that divide <laughs> when they develop. You know, of course. they divide in two parts and they they don't marry <laughs> with the other. Uh, humans are also nature is different for every creature mm -hmm. like it doesn't mean it's nature then it's okay yeah we are humans those are bacterias those are parasites this is a monkey and this is a i don't know a skunk yeah. you know and this is a tree nature is versatile nature is amazing that's why when i say about the future i'm talking about you're talking about humans that are very much uh, like animals we the animals used to live the way they we live we're mammals i mean that's 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 the point i mean what i'm to that's why i'm separating human values what i'm talking about human values in a way that we have to understand <laughs> what us make different because nature is so vast mm -hmm. i mean there are so many different creatures we never think how different we are and we have something that is very i think very good to follow we call it like very vague we say spirituality but we don't know what is no it's dominance over the other species that's all it is Maybe. it's simple dominance nothing yeah. else yeah that's that's what i'm talking about so the same does the male lion in his pride yeah so if we going that direction then we keep being animal that's my opinion. But I'm not saying I'm not saying there are do no. Do you think that's something we can actually reprogram in the human mind? I think uh, you can find in yourself values that are bigger than that. Except, I mean, except that be, you know, and there are great examples of humans that are trying to do that. You know, but it's nobody. Can Nobody you give us <laughs> one exa one person that is there a culture or country I that that you've studied where your philosophy or, or their philosophy is uh, close to what you, you how you envision humans? I don't think country can do that because country by itself is it's a, a separation. Thing, right? Yeah, it's you a separation. You are separating. You are putting borders. When you we are talking about competition and we are saying private space and you are putting the borders. Let's respect each other's private space. Yeah, that's nice, respecting each other. But at the same time, you're saying, okay, don't come closer than this. You know, so you separate yourself from that person. You don't. So you want open borders? <laughs> Is that what we're getting? To? I think we are going to that. You want or not, we're gonna go to that. I hope not. I hope we will. No. But we're not ready right now. I See, agree with you. Not the, now. The if human, the human species. This kind of goes into like Darwinism. The human species obviously <laughs> evolved into what we are today. But at the end of the day, 
we're still animals. We're still that that animal instinct is still in us. Whether it's dominance, whether it's uh, competition, Com- doesn't matter what it is. That you, that animal instinct will always emotion. Be in us. We yeah. the emotion, the thing, all that stuff. The emotion is something that I feel like is about to go out the door. Death is becoming no, more no, and more. No, yeah, no, it is, no, no. That's emotion it, can't go out the door, Ed. What but are you it's about? going. It's not the same as it used to no, be. Being it's, the that's same one is of different. The things that's okay, been affected being already. Being the same is different than going away. Go, it's not gonna go away. Yeah, I, I don't is, think it's humans not gonna go away. Can but as far as like humans. open borders, look what's happened in Europe as far as having open borders. I, I'm not saying it's gonna solve the issues right now. And I said we are not ready for that, but I hope we will go. In order to go there, we have to understand your mindset. You can work, you can live. Okay, let's say uh, when you are living with your family and you have a family, uh, that's also some kind of a country, right? Um, you can say, yeah, your you own kingdom, your own yeah, whatever yeah, you want to call it. Absolutely, right? uh, Yeah, of course. Like I <coughs> can say my family, my house, my sanctuary, my kingdom, I'm the king, my wife's the queen, my daughter's a princess. Yeah. Which so is why we lock our doors. Anybody walks into my house that I don't know, you better basically... Pray. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm going to be protecting my home. Just that's like we should be protecting our country. That's the point. When you are talking about protecting, that's the what what are those means. And who is protecting? How is choosing what it has to be protected? You protect whatever you your do. values, yeah. your country, Absolutely. what you believe in. Absolutely. Okay, Tur- I have Turkey a also you, thinks Tigre. like that. You I know, have a they protect you, their values, and and Germany also think. Actually, whole whole Nazism was based on protecting German values. Okay, but here's the thing. <laughs> let's say you're a fan of open borders. Today, no, Ar- let's fun. look at Armenia. Let's, for <laughs> example, <laughs> I'm not fun. I'm saying it's gonna go there. Sooner or later. Okay, you're saying it's going to go there, but let's look at the Armenia situation. Mm. You have two enemies at your borders asking and making you open your border to them. True? Yeah, because you have enemies. So this is the logic. As long as you... You think if you give open borders to a country like Turkey that's done that to you for 400 years, you think by giving no. them open border... You're actually making friends? See see what you do right now. You are, we were talking about philosophy. You go to politics. What's the difference? No, it's not politics. We're that talking has nothing about to do with politics, if, honestly. If we are talking about human values, yes, it doesn't matter if it's a Turkish person or a French or different, no. right? If you are talking about animization, that's when you start talking, ag- uh, when you say, I protect my house. The word protecting your home and the house means you have enemies. That's simple. <laughs> or you right. have or you have no. when you do crazy no, people no. out there. No, no, no. That that's does not the point. Mean that. Right. That's different. You're if telling me there's not gonna be any crazy more crazy people if we don't lock our doors, they'll just stop being crazy? No, that's that's that's, that's the tough part. Do you think people who are ruling there were nobody who wants to make this life better? They just don't find the way to do it. Because why? Let's say if I'm saying, okay, let's have a facilities for crazy people and give them treatment and help them and stuff, right away comes somebody who wants to use that for purposes. For example, I, I, want, um, I know uh, I have a competitor who is a bit unique and I'll make him to be crazy to put that asylum and I win the competition, right? Have you heard ever... Uh, interview with um, what's this guy named um, Soros George Soros, Soros? Yeah. Soros have you seen? yeah have you heard about him yeah his interviews how logical he is logical absolutely this he's, ma- you know he he's has a crazy yeah that's the point so being he's crazy? not crazy no he says absolutely open what he does why he does and he says you know when you go to the business and you go to the some level and you have competitors and you have to deal with I don't know if I was I had a business in Russia and I have to be honest there were moment that my development of my business would depend whether I start killing people competitors or not that's why I, I, I dropped my business and I went to so, so art. You, <laughs> so you don't like competition. That's what it is. No, I love it for economy, but economy is not a key. No, if we talk about what we are right now and how we can evolve to something better, that's what we should do. 
we 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 don't need to promote what we were doing thousand years and be, being an animal till now. That's w- what we're promoting. It's in, human but instinct. But to replace it with, in pretty much what you're s- describing is socialism, where there is literally no borders, no nationalities, no enemies. Everyone is supposed to be fair. Uh, everyone's not smart. only that. Not yeah. Everyone's yeah. balanced. Yeah. It doesn't exist. Let me ask you a question. Huh. Do you celebrate certain holidays? No. What do you mean? Christmas, <laughs> Thanksgiving. <laughs> no, I celebrate all family holidays. Okay, I so can celebrate so some holidays that see? you want me to celebrate. No, no, no. For example, <laughs> you, you, you celebrate Christmas, right? Well, I do. Why do you celebrate Christmas? Because it's uh, for kids. Nice, it's beautiful. It's for the kids, not yeah. for you? No, I mean, what do you mean for me? Like you think, uh, like uh, I'm no, waiting no, for something. You s- <laughs> like your spirit, your spirit <laughs> on no, Christmas you're, you're Day. Su- why are your you spirit s- is no different than let's just say March nineteenth. Uh, like for, for me, it's not. Or April. Your spirit is not you any different. You no, you forget <laughs> spirit. You guys forget. This has nothing to do with like spirit. Bro, you're not in this holiday wait, spirit. Wait, those wait, wait. Few, uh, no. like a few days. Forget spirit. No. Why do you really? celebrate? Why do you celebrate <laughs> Christmas? Why do you celebrate <laughs> Christmas? Because it's on the calendar. <laughs> <laughs> do you s- do you, okay, it's on the calendar, right? But as far as why don't Jewish people celebrate Christmas? Why don't Muslims celebrate Christmas? So let's say you give up Wha- your Christmas. Okay, you're going to convince wha- a Muslim person to give up their holiday? No, you're not. Look, why Why they should? They, they need to give up? Why? why no, no, no. That's what I'm saying. A lot of people are talking about getting rid of even the holidays, like Christmas, right? But if you, if you go the route you're talking about, like, Someone like George Soros? You think he gives a shit about any holidays existing or not? I, I, I don't Except care for Valentine's about Day. Valentine's Day was created to, what to are we make talking money. About, though? Holidays. What is holiday? How are our holidays significant? Well, there's human different value? types of holidays. There's the religious like holidays. There is okay. And what does that do? It yeah, how value? it affects your human it's value. It I mean, adds it value to your life. As a Christian, yeah. It how? Does. See, see, how? W- w- when you are saying as a Christian. I want to I want to go start from there. Oh, you want to start with the religion? <laughs> no, 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 yeah. I mean, okay, what does it go. mean for you to be a Christian? Honestly, yeah. I'm not the most uh devout Christian. I'm not. I don't go to church every Sunday. I don't go to church maybe every month. It doesn't matter. But here's what my you thing. Said as a Within Christian. myself, I have a belief system. Good. And this I pray at my own house. And well, that's where I'm comfortable. Absolutely, with. but why you expect that everybody has to have no, the no, same? No, no, no. Here's the I thing. Don't. No, I don't. It's no, not, it's I don't push that. it on anyone. And it's, it, I it's don't push religion on anybody. But I have the right to choose w- what I pray in my own house. And that's, like you said, that's where I protect. That's where I pray. That's where and there's let a lot me of peace, see. Let me, let me, get into let, hold on. Let me let me get it's to where issue. let me get to where I was going with it's this. Safety issue. There okay. obviously there are certain holidays. There are certain traditions. There are certain things that Absolutely. we celebrate. Being Armenian, being Christian, for example, we celebrate the Christmases, the Easter's, all those holidays. Our neighboring country doesn't give two shits about any of that stuff. And going back to what Edgar was saying, having open borders, Christianity was one of the reasons why obviously the genocide happened so in order i would not say christianity i would say exploited christianity christ yeah I- even in quran you can fight about jesus tons of it jesus like is nation. mentioned in yeah. the quran more than he is in it's the bible ex- exploited like the muslim religion the same Correct. Uh, uh, but everything at, is the exp- en- at the end of the day it's more of it's more about do you really want to have open borders with enemies because at the end of the day human nature human instinct will always have competition will always have the enemies whether it's through sports whether it's through politics whether it's through economy we're in a i would even say we're in a cold war with china right now i would i would recommend you to read the one uh, small small um screenplay it's fernando arabal what is it about it's called Please picnic elaborate. picnic on battlefield okay it's about the guy who is uh, actually this is uh, this is a uh, one of the concept of my movies i just don't want to give it away but uh, basically what is happening it's uh, uh, there is a guy who who is uh, who's stuck in the b- battlefield and their parents go to you know visit him because nobody knows he's alive or dead because he's on the front line and only the bombs are he's in some bunker they don't know even he's alive or not 
So and when they go there, the parents, only parents care about that soldier. <laughs> they go there, they find him, and he's almost crazy because of those bombing. But he's uh, he tries to do his duty, and he's even f- he lost the time how long he's there mm-hmm. because he was confused, you know, like many times. And then suddenly they put the music. It's a it's a abstract, absurdic play, but it's a beautiful play in a literature in the artist they. A lot they talk about these issues that you're right now talking about, guys. What I'm trying to say that you can <sighs> see it's all about your way of living. Nobody can say uh, you're right or wrong. This is your life, right? And that's why we protect privacy and we say, okay, that's why they are trying to, you know, let's say, educate your kids in the school. Again, the same huge issue about you know like you the your, there is an your sexuality, system right? Today? Because they are trying to take you from out from the culture. They are trying to introduce you tons of different colors <laughs> uh, of 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 life. That and so. So you're for or against that? I'm not for. I'm mm-hmm. against fighting something. Mm-hmm. For example, the culture, I think, about celebrations. So Diwali, do you have against Diwali anything? No, no, the no. So you're, you're willing to give up certain values that you have for freedom? That's what it is. What values? Religion? Like ethnicity. Yes. You'll give you're up willing ethnicity. to give up absolutely. ethnicity for freedom? Yes, absolutely. So do you have any kids? Yes. How many kids do you have? Um, two. Boy, girl. Boy and girl. Tigrin, that was a long pause. For <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. No, like, I was honestly, I was thinking, it. why? Why it's a big deal? No, how old are your kids? If you don't mind me asking. Okay, sorry, I'm getting personal. That if you don't want to answer, you don't have two, to answer. Two, it. no, ten and eleven. Are you? Tomo- are you? Tomorrow are you? she is gonna be twelve. Okay, twelve. Well, happy, <laughs> happy birthday! birthday. <laughs> happy birthday! There you go. That's on the podcast with us. So, I mean, there are certain things where I mean, are you okay with your children being taught certain things? at an age where it doesn't need to be taught? Uh, not programmed. Not taught at a certain age, of course. I mean, it, it's the same if you say, uh, are you okay, you know, like going naked? Uh, no, it's in not a, the in same. In the kindergarten. No, no same. it's not the same. No, because, see, who is putting that borders? Again, we're talking about the borders, right? Borders of... You know... Well, it's not la- just physical borders. You're mental... Right, mental borders. Uh, cultural... Definitely. Uh, everything. That's something yeah. we can discuss <coughs> with different people and decide Fine. What, you, what you, what you want to do. If you want to... Simple thing. If you want to live the way you want to live, uh, it's, the earth is big. I get you, but here's my right? question. Forget <laughs> the religious aspect of it. Like, yeah. we have enemies, both sides, and the two enemies we have are Muslim. But let's not forget, the Muslims are the ones that during the genocide, or a lot of the Armenians went into Muslim countries, and they thrived. And these Muslim countries gave them a place to live. True? Guys, I'm, So uh, it's I'm not a no. religious thing. I have nothing against Muslims. No. At I, all. I, I don't but have... But ethnicity, you think... Let's say all Armenians say, okay, we're not Armenians anymore. You think Turkey is going to turn around and say, yeah, we're not Turks anymore? I don't think so. I just don't believe that's possible. Uh, maybe. You even te- I like don't thousand even years want to from talk today, about it for, for, for one reason. Okay. Because you are going on, uh, you know, like, let's say Turkey's enemy. For Tur- Turkish people, Armenians are enemy. We can go forever. It's gonna go for forever. Japanese people, you know, Chinese people, Japanese enemy, Korean people, and one crazy person that has a, you know, access to the button today. You know, he's Same gonna guy. say, "Yeah, I'm, I'm honestly very afraid of Japan. If there are Japanese people, I'm sorry to that, but I'm very afraid. Really? I'll tell you why, because they live I'm on shocked. volcano. They are scientifically." like super advanced yes. we don't know what they have and maybe tomorrow we'll say okay russia you know what we'll push the bottom and half russia is gone and now we're going to take our lands so we don't know that you know and it takes only one person and history says that it takes only one person to understand that whole world 
like can go to the hell. That's simple. And that's the more we talk about enemization, the more we talk about that this is enemy, this is enemy, the more it's the worse it is. Because you are programming people on enemy. If you program your kid, I honestly don't want to program my kids on enemies. I don't like the word enemy. It's not a. It's it's something when already gives a separation. I'm sorry, Tigran. Here's my thing. I would love that utopia world. It's I just don't utopia. see it happening. But here's my thing to you. Today, I mean, two days ago, Azerbaijan opened the open air museum again i mean you're not changing these people it's that's, just not that's happening that's the point that's that's when uh, you know you're talking again if we stay on that level azerbaijan whatever does it does certain amount of people there with their presidents they still behave on the same level that you say animals he wants he has money we don't he can buy stuff we we cannot he has corruption. We do have corruption. He has power. That means he's going to kill Armenians. Tomorrow, Armenians have power. Okay, let's kill Turkish people. And it's going to go forever, guys. Tell forever. me one time the Armenians did that to them. Tell me one no, time. Uh, if no, it, here's it the takes thing. one crazy Armenian to when, do that. When, when he, let's say there was a technology, laser technology that Armenia had. I'm right? sorry. That's our only way of survival is to have a person like that in Armenia. That's what I I'm am, telling you. I am, I'm, if okay. we have a person in that's Armenia great. that's ready to push that button, and it's very easy to obtain nowadays. Absolutely. And that's, that's your only guarantee of survival of Armenia today. Of, that's of course. No other then way. Let's say, let's say, let's forget about Armenia. Let's talk about big China. Let's we, talk we about We're talking China. about China. Let's go. China's, China's technology has advanced a lot. Much. If you know they are doing, it's a huge, you know, like... Uh, we have a script on that how advanced their space program is right now mm-hmm. it's huge and both countries are trying to stop you know china to go to that level where let's say russia or united states united states actually absolutely dominating if you don't know guys the collapse of soviet union it was there were real space wars like uh, it's 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 not exposed but on the even on the cold war on the level of this old soy programs the you know the sp- space stations were fighting on the there too for the space and actually united states russia won and that. the u.s yes, have been absolutely. sharing a russian space station after. for years after yeah after so what i'm trying to say that we don't own even even turkey that is using they are using mostly technology of you know like canada austria and all these technologies right they don't have it they just have a money to buy it right and that's why we were screaming don't sell them don't sell them don't sell them right that's the point but they have money and let's say tomorrow we find something in armenia let's say right that brings armenia the billions we're gonna be glad right we're gonna be glad, honestly, and we're gonna no, buy and I take our lands back. You think that's gonna help Armenia? Let's say okay, I'm not gonna. Let's say, uh, that's that's the point. Okay, it's let's not say they find Armenia. the next molecule, or l- let's just say they find some type of uh, metal that's gonna be used in the newest era of batteries. Because right. right now everyone's in a chase. Which you right. know what the right. the minerals that we do have in Armenia, a lot of those lands that were in question are going to be used for those minerals that are going to be used for batteries in the future. Yeah. Right? Yes. So that's what I'm talking about. Now, when we go, let's say it happens, right? And we're going to be very happy. We Armenians, my ethnicity will say, we Armenians are cool. Now let's take our lands. It's fair. It's fair for us. You think any Armenian has that type of heart to go and murder murder those animals did we it's can't it's not in our blood it's just not see the ethnicity were like let's just go back to the 91 95 war armenians would literally let these people walk out and not kill them they, they didn't do that to your people i would agree During this with war, you we brought their pow's gave them surgeries but yet today we don't have our pow's back and you're telling me there is a chance there, there is, is no chance 
Okay, it's the same if you talk about right now about Mongols. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Let's say you would never right now believe that Mongols gonna like conquer half of the world. And probably a lot of people were not thinking about that long time ago, right? But it happened. It take one person. I, I think it's a we we're not gonna get to some point together. Why I'll explain to you why. Because whatever the way it is, even we from you know, let's say from a convincing point of view, historical point of view, we get let's say our borders. And I won that because I'm Armenian at some point in my, I was as devastated as you and I'm as happy as you when something happens in Armenia, right? Or or if some that's, Armenian. See, so you just answered your own thing. No, you, no, no. So inside you have that feeling. I have, of course, everybody so how do you has. Get a, how do you, no, but how you, you are saying if this, is, if this is uh, uh, crucial for me as an ethnicity, like a, on on a base of a human values we're talking so this is what i don't what i'm not happy with uh, having a lot of conversations on this <laughs> no not here it, there's no generally answer, yeah. especially with armenians because on the second no, the 18 minutes or something you right away go to politics of course we hurt we hurt like many sir tibetians are i have been in tibet tibetians are very hurt you know what china does to them chinese are very hurt the Japanese does to them. Uh, you know, like Koreans are heard a lot from both sides, <laughs> Chinese and Japanese. And you can go over. And of course, you're going to say, okay, it's not our business. We, we have our enemies. We have to take care of our enemies. That's a good talk for president. You know, who is taking care of the country, who is taking care of an e economy and everything. But we, that's when I am trying to say that we have to go to the human values. When, 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 when you end, don't when go there, when you don't go, when you still talk about economy, ethnicity, when you talk about enemies, it's it's never ended process. Then gonna, we better be good animals. When that's when, it. <laughs> you when know? you when you try to have a conversation <laughs> with Aliyev or Erdogan and you say I'm Armenian, we want peace, we want this, and no, they turn around and they say no any any sort of topic where you want to make peace and everything will basically fix itself and we'll, we could be friends and Aliyev and Erdogan go to Katsunam Zeram and Inchivara. What do you say to that? Nothing. It's a, it's a, it's the same if you say uh, 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 what you would say if you uh, go somewhere and uh, a black mamba has on you. You know, what you're going to say? Nothing. <laughs> what you can say? You, you have to run so or kill. That's it. Well, hence the reason right. why it's human nature. If they're going to if they're no, going to come no, back, no. you don't want to... That's what I am not agree with. You're putting a human nature into what we're saying, into animal nature. I'm, I am we talking are about... We are animals at the end of the guys, day. That's uh, what it, we are. That's the point. I, I don't think so. We are animals. Of course but we are. But we, at the same time, as a parasite. We, at the same time, uh, a tree, we're whatever. So what's your, no. what's your solution if Erdogan and Aliyev come back and they're going to take over the rest well, of well, Armenia? Let's, what's let's your, stop what's your talking solution? Armenia. Arno. No. So let's what carry this you, conversation outside of the Armenia thing since... All four Absolutely. of us are let's, sitting let's, here, Armenians. Let's, let's get away from the Armenian thing. Absolutely. Let's yeah. talk about because we other talk aspects. about not Armenian values. I said we are talking about human values. Yeah, you you introduced that. I'm not saying that if you want to talk about Armenian values, Armenian culture, okay, I, I would like to talk about Atomegoya, Parajanov. You know, not talking about you know Aliyev in Armenian like, values. Those are probably like the <laughs> two Armenians that I really don't really. Like they're not okay, Armenian. Forget Armenian. Forget Armenian. Forget Armenian. would be a better person to talk about as an Armenian. No. I think uh, every every person, for me, if shares with me the ethnicity, and he did something for human to become better, to understand his own nature, to understand that we are not animals, that's what is I'm proud of. You know who I would love for you to go say that to? Yeah. Go say it to the people on skid row yeah i mean look this is again <laughs> this is no, you are going for go to, the, go to the people on skid row mm -hmm. in downtown la yeah. and i want you to tell them exactly what you just said to us what do you think they would say i don't know i i would not go i don't know i cannot Why imagine not? we're things. all we're all uh, like I'm, uh, i would literally go with you saturday if you want i'll literally go there I have no problem. No, what's the, the at point? The end of the day, can you like, tell me what's my, the point my point so <laughs> you can go to skid row 
and see that the homeless peop- community there is not all the same. There's different humans there mm-hmm. with different mindsets. With different still, troubles, different struggles. Different troubles, still with goals in mind at the lowest portion of their life. And I don't fear any human. Yes, I understand. Some of them can be dangerous. They could be on drugs. I get it. But if you go three, four people, you conversate with a few of them, you will see that some of these people have a lot to say. You, you know, know they're, they're that's my thing is I would conversate with any type of human, even the ones I consider an enemy. I would love to sit down and conversate. That's what I think should be towards the future, because the future we're headed towards that you're talking about is to get people away from a simple conversation into a virtual world. You know, I'm uh, while we are talking, I'm constantly in my mind thinking so good i went out from business you know like from from uh, because i was i was the same mindset honestly i this is not um this is um i cannot and en- say anything to that because i see it. that's why i became an artist i tr- i'm trying to become an artist yeah. to get out from these conversations honestly because this way of uh comprehending the world it's not natural for my human nature let's say it like that why don't we talk because about some because of i the don't want natures. to consider myself you're contradicting yourself you're saying okay these t- people are different at the same time and they are crazy and they're dangerous they're people crazy. no they're dangerous let's say that's why you want to go there so no, 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 no. trying to talk I'm to them i right? never said they're crazy <laughs> no uh, they, let's have say they are different i'll say they're crazy there's some, some crazy. Of them that have issues though some of yeah. them might have health issues. Some of them might have depression. Some of them might be on drugs. There's different humans out there. Absolutely. There are different humans and humans as different as animals, as each human is different. You are contradicting yourself. You're saying we are animals. At the same time, you're saying even humans are so different. Humans are so different. It's the beauty of being a human is being different. <laughs> yeah, that's the point. And that means that humans and animals also could be different, right? And comes back to the thing that we are still animals. No, see, see you, you're, <laughs> now you're saying we are the same. You're no, saying I, humans in the beginning are, I said we're how, mammals. What's I that? Mean, come okay, on. I, explain me that logic. If even two mm-hmm. look like humans can be so different, do you think that human and, let's say, a lion cannot be different? 100% they're different. That we're different we are species. Not Absolutely. So, so what does it mean, animals? Do you're generalizing, right? We are all animals. These are all trees. Well, there's categories of animals too. There's reptiles. There is uh, uh, mammals. I mean, yeah, there's different types. Yeah, but you so don't say ma- fish we're family. We're <laughs> mammals and so are dolphins. So, what, yeah. what does that mean? That we're there's similar? No. Why not? We're different mammals. Because there's different animals, bro. What do you mean? There's Why different you animals. Why? Absolutely. It's, uh, it's that's the point. W- when you, when you, you search, search on a certain... That's nature made us different. So like, why are we changing can nature? We, can then? we say evolution, maybe? Why is it that the Homo sapien is still around and the Neanderthal isn't around? Uh, that's a question to the my to my brother. <laughs> no, do you know? Do you know? Do you see what I mean? I I know, but see, uh, the just Neanderthals the simple. Is we're we're r- talking about simple logic, right? I understand. Now let's let's talk about simple logic. If you believe that the virus has rights to live on this planet, that means it's a it's natural, right? For the virus. To be on this planet. Well, I don't know about natural. It's not natural. This uh, this no, virus. No, you might talk about COVID. <laughs> Come on. So, so right away it goes to politics. <laughs> no, that doesn't do politics. So the <laughs> the the most fundamental fu- fundamental uh, reaction, action, skill, whatever you want to call it, of any any creature on Earth. I'm going to say creature. You can call it animal, creature. Even even a human baby is survival, right? That's the point. Survival is is very animalistic. Fight or flight. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's survival another, that's is another the, one. Yeah. I mean, a, a baby right out of the womb 
knows how to survive. What's the reason we were all immigrated to this country? No, 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 no. Well, Listen well, to where let, he's going let me, with this. Okay. So, see, no, I lost my train. Sorry. <laughs> you, you've been going off for 40 minutes. I'm so sorry, bro. I'm just playing with I myself. I just heated up. <laughs> is about to go to the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I forgot you're, where I was You're going human with when survive. You, so no, no. When a, every, oh, yeah, survive. Yeah, sur- animals that are born yeah, sur- and then human that it's yeah, born. A- every animal on earth, survival is the number one. I mean, that's genetically passed on. That's the key feature to 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 remain and to exist, right? From from the smallest whatever it is, ant or the smallest fish creature in the sea to to an elephant to any 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 everybody every animal has something they're surviving from what every day they have to still hunt for food they have to have water they have to have oxygen all these right so and this has been since since the uh beginning of time we can go back millions of years it's always been the same why do we think it's going to be any different today or we need to make any adjustments for the future for us to live more uh, ha- harmoniously together because to me if we we can't even nature itself a tree I- in order for it to survive sometimes it has to the um, the roots have to go and break into the, the side tree right damage the side tree in order for it to grow to be the tree it is supposed to be or the sewer line or the sewer line <laughs> <laughs> or the retaining wall. My my point is, every every, there's never gonna come a point where we're all gonna be able to just live amongst each other and uh, open society. We can do anything, talk about anything. That that to me just seems not even far fetched. It's impossible because when we wake up in the morning, our goal is to survive, to put food on the table, to do whatever we have to do. It doesn't mean I have to kill you to, to put food on my table. Absolutely. But um, we are going to get e- in, e- in each other's way eventually. Uh, a- and, and so it is kill or be killed. Again, this is an extreme <laughs> statement, but that's essentially what it boils down to. So uh, so that's why your, f- your theory about... We can all live amongst each other peacefully, no and way. Uh, it just—I—I I, I, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Th- that's what <coughs> what you isn't assume. that what you're implying no. though? No, no open borders. Yeah, wa- all that's of us different. together. Hold on. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Let's let's go simple logic. Sure, this is sure. conversation right now. I'm of course. I'm absolutely. You're talking about survival, and this is. All parasites survive. Everybody. Yeah. Why you to call yourself a hu- advanced human? Because you are uh, uh, stronger on a survival. It's superiority. Well, because w- against virus that can kill you in a second. No. One no one no. human being yeah. can can literally destroy Earth and blow it up, but a million lions cannot. So what you honor in that? I don't honor it. It scares me. But you're saying that's the, that's, truth, the, that's the, yeah, that's yeah. the, that's the issue and the truth and the issue. That's why I said today in our mind, it takes one person, crazy person who says he's going to survive, but not the like 80% of the planet. His family is going to, his team is going to survive. And if you know, there are teams, if you don't know, especially in the United States, you can easily go and see that there are Scientologies there are th- there are different teams there are, that are talking about human survival and they have enough power to do things that what they think you today so you if don't you think are those are people that are trying to pretty much control humans in a sense these people are all there I see them doing is trying to control it's other our humans absolutely it's our judgment of they want to control ask them Ask them. Why should I care about what they think? Because I they know are sure going to decide. So here's my thing. <laughs> what you, my what your life is going to be. I think they want to take control of humans and of control course. humans. Of course. But they you think, think they're going to... control up? But they're but they going to... they thinking they are saving humans. 
and if you if you go and what uh, re- listen there they're gonna <coughs> say planet that's why ecology you know this ecology issues this uh, you know biological global yeah global warming this is because they are saying if we uh, i'm sure if you go listen to them they're gonna tell you after the every second word that human species are in danger the humanity future of humanity are in danger we have more s- mobile devices or more devices uh, more pollution you heard a lot even chubais in russia he said earth officially you can go and listen and he said officially uh, humanity has to have not more than two pil- billion people in the end of this century otherwise this planet is not going to survive and i think russia can do a lot to help to you know reduce the amount of population how do you do how do you reduce population simple <laughs> because every kid was not born there is no chain do you you, you cut the generations this is all about shakespeare if you read shakespeare all everybody is talking about tragedy shakespeare they don't understand how genius that guy was talking not about tragedy because somebody is killed but the generation stopped the whole generation stops even the respected family's generations they go that's why there are one kids or there you know like always or old kids die this is all about shakespeare and this is when artists predict that that gonna come times and we're living in these times when they gonna st- try to stop our generations that's so the whole of, point so get rid of five and a half billion people yeah. right yeah but they don't want like kind they are kind they don't want to kill you but they promote these gay marriages and stuff so you don't have kids but oh. you take care of kids that are orphans you don't think gay, gay people have kids that's why all ho- hollywood yeah no they can't course. reproduce bro can't what are you re- talking about two lesbians could go to a sperm <laughs> bank and freaking yeah but here's the thing only one of their genes is used and how many how many people how many can many afford to do, that? do the incision like how many think gay- about it <laughs> okay uh, forget no, the sperm yes. bank they find somebody what are you doing tonight? <laughs> if they want, Come on, that's guys, why. Just think of something logical. That goes back to financial. <laughs> so, but no. but okay. So let's assume that's that is correct. Okay, let's assume we're overpopulated. Two billion is the max. I read five hundred million should be the max. I mean, who said we? I I agree with that. No, no, no. We're not, overpopulated. Not, so so many lands are free. It's just a. In the U.S., in the U.S., we say we don't have enough. Exactly, we don't have enough land to produce enough Absolutely. food really we don't i mean we have tons russia has billions I, you can put so many people on those on the planet to live six billion is nothing for the planet go here, outside so you have this much country and the, uh, so this then much I'm city co- and then, so I'm, then i'm confused what what which theory you agree with so I'm that's why i'm trying to tell you guys we're, you you are judging too early what i'm talking about because you right away whatever i'm talking about you you jump into politics it's not about po- survival is a great talk okay i don't want to belong to the part of mammals animals whatever you are calling ourselves mm-hmm. i feel offended honestly i'm a human being and i want to know what makes me different your intelligence level that's it I, I okay nature, let's say nature what gives me intelligence level because i can i can tomorrow let's say or today um, find something be the person who can or get somewhere who be a person who can press the button like put in and kill the continents well that's what is intelligence well, by level. the way i disagree with that it's not that simple every powerful country in the world has satellites that are counter aimed at those buttons yeah buttons so there's no nobody had nobody's gonna do that because that's not gonna be productive uh before he pushes it and anything even there's a small hint of something's going out it's c- counter-attack is coming in some it just it's not that simple yeah it, it's it, not like a movie where you just pick up basically yeah, pick up the phone call and say mr president go ahead and push the um, you know what i'm concerned about more so is that this virus showed and proved that they could come up with anything they want. That's the point. And as long as they control, <laughs> as long as they control the media, then they could they could pretty much do whatever they want with human be- beings. And that's what they they proved that they only killed three million people. I mean, that's still three million too many. But you know, they didn't kill half a billion or two billion, right? 
Three million. It's just a matter of time. Yeah. So and the weapon type of yeah. Weapon. So now maybe they come up with something stronger. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, let's take it up a notch. Let's introduce Absolutely. the uh, S plus or Absolutely. right. And that's what that's. I'm not. I'm not concerned about buttons. This is what I'm concerned about, and I'm concerned about what people are following. That's what concerns me more than anything else. That these people actually listen to this nonsense on TV and say, "Oh, now I need to wear four masks." Now I need to do this. Now I need to do that. They don't well, question thanks, anything, huh? Thanks. What? We're done. <laughs> you talk about masks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it, it's like they don't question anything. Whatever is given to them, con- their command, and they, oh, well, we'll just find out. I mean, so and so said but it. That's so the same cut. exact world. You think that, it's going to take one that's, uh, coronavirus that, to get everyone on that map? This coronavirus got a few people on that side of things. And it's going to be a couple more Simple question, guys. Sure. If you give a weapon even more advanced that, let's say, like you are saying, coronavirus, right? Biological weapon. Right. To uh, Erdogan. Mm-hmm. Let's say a Turkish scientist, this humble person who he, all his life he was, you know, in a science. He, he likes Einstein. <laughs> he likes, he wants to be Einstein. Let's not use you know? Erdogan because yeah. that's going to be unfair. Let's use oh someone no. else. No, that's that's the point. Do you, do you, what you are saying exactly what I am saying. It's the matter of weapon. Why they are not pushing the button right now on the nuclear weapon? Because there is Russia. Russia also can push. This guy also can push. It's shared technology. Right. But see, the nanotechnology is so advanced right now. We don't know what they are doing with the viruses. Tomorrow there could be something else. And let's say somebody finds something that makes you die from uh, cancer. Mm-hmm. And then they say, oh, you know, uh, well, there, are there, is doing a, that. there is a there is a there was an explosion on this fever, you know, in this uh, manufacture and they have these things and they are doing this and, uh, and media is in their hands. Right. And then. 80% of humanity dies with cancer and they're trying to help. And they're trying to find. They can do that. You believe in that, right? Of course. Of course. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. The more we go to human values, understanding that there are no enemies. Because that person that we designed, that person, whoever gets the technology, he's going to have his crazy element. Even, guys, I saw a lot of people artists they were begging for job but when they get star they don't even want to say hi to you this is this is also human and we are tend to be those uh, you know like kill for kill or something like that's uh, and also it's contradicting if you're talking about that's christmas bad human. christmas and jesus that's the point of jesus that he said stop that you know, and he let himself to kill. That's an because unthankful of not person. Trying to you can't you can't base everything off of unthankful people. You're gonna run into unthankful people if you help someone. Let's just say of course. you help someone get ahead in Hollywood, and they get to a amazing career, and but you're the one that gave them their first start. Absolutely. You think that person ever forgets who gave them their no. first start? What I'm saying: the more we go like this, the more unthankful people we we we. Create. We do create. Absolutely. I, I agree with you. I That's agree with the you point. On that. And the more unthankful people you create, you're going to create more Issues. people who want power. The more people, uh, and they understand, okay, where is the power in digital world, in science, in nanotechnology? Okay, today I'm going to do uh, something, or I build a team, I have billions, I build a team, and we design something and we say, okay, we have this, this weapon, let's first kill, you know, like... Turkey and Azerbaijan because no, they are animals. No, you don't do that. And you're going to kill tons of people at the same time. Uh, and what I'm trying to say, just I'm trying to say one thing. It's time for us to understand how we're different from animals. And I would love to go back, not to religion, but to, again, Jesus, who was giving some, not only Jesus, Buddha, who was giving those ideas how we can live together without trying to kill for kill and making ourselves enemies. Again, if I tell you the word, <laughs> Jesus' words, when Peter was trying to, you know, uh, like protect him, right? When he says, go, go, I'll, and he takes the knife and he says, put the knife back. 
right? Because and he says you're talking like a Satan. You talk with the mouth of Satan. Why he's saying that? Religion. I'm sorry. But I I want to use f word. How religion? You could say it. Made this That's beautiful acceptable. culture and mind made into into a bullshit. Into a bullshit. I I wanted to create this and i created but i made a website with it we're getting away from religion more and more and more and more every day uh, do you do you do you saying about the priests they are no, talking no no, to no, no, no no what do you mean by religion inner like uh your inner be- religion your belief system your own personal belief system mine or yours mine my own yeah that's that's your stuff you you can you can manage your belief system by yourself i cannot say anything to that but what i want to say the religion that makes you to to do whatever the founder of the religion says don't do <laughs> it's something wrong right wait so let's just go back to what what is it like Don't kill, don't steal. It's bad thing. What is religion saying that's so horrible? <laughs> so when your religion is telling you don't kill, don't steal, don't cheat, no, it's a religion, bad thing. Religion doesn't say that. Okay. Religion, religion tells you. I will tell you what says religion. Religion says I know what what prophets say. I know what God says, which is a bullshit. And I can tell you honestly, I'm I'm not a religion guy. I don't like I I'm like not. beliefs. I love beliefs. I understand, but yeah. you, if you are advanced human being, you rather have your own opinion. Read, let's say, your own opinion about Jesus, you know, or your own opinion about Buddha, your own opinion about I don't know Muhammad, or your own opinion about uh, Nietzsche. You can have. You can read it, but you don't do that, right? Because of we say, oh, you know, I have to survive. I have to survive every day, so I, I I'll go to work. Okay, that means I'm saying, okay, I'm accepting the rules. I'm accepting the rules of society today, and I'm becoming a kill for kill, and that's normal. And we are bodies, we are Armenians, ethnicity. Let's go. Turkish is enemy. Well, we are we are Turks. Armenians are enemy. It's no, it's my gonna qu- go forever. So my question <laughs> stops there. My question is: When you said, "Okay, we're Armenians, we're buddies," okay, let's say we convince all Armenians. Let's just let's open that border. No, I'm not saying. Do, okay, say do you go again? I'm not talking about all Armenians. I'm talking about human human values. I'm talking about not only Armenians. I'm talking about tons of people out there, also Armenians. That are trying to talk about consciousness today. I, I, What is this? I, I think. I think what I'm. I, okay, the conclusion I'm getting to is that you don't want, which I agree with. If if this is what you're. Uh, you say yours because I want to say mine as well because I have feeling. Yeah, like you don't want for the few that are power, you know, power hungry and greedy, for so many innocent people to lose their lives because of an Erdogan or whoever that that's in power uh, and is dictating how things should be done and so many innocent lives are being lost whether it's their own people even right his own soldiers so many died and so many Armenians and so many are dying currently in other parts and in ev- every country every war you look at it's always about power and greed Uh, currently, you look at genocides going on in Africa or anywhere in the world. It's all about power and greed. China, China's got these, you know, what, two three million people in concentration camps. Why? Power and greed. So, a- and it is always the few that are th- that are controlling the, the billions. One percent. Not, it's not even the one percent. Uh, make an impact. You know, some of these, a lot of these countries don't make an impact on the world as far as they don't dictate how things are run but the so russia the china's if, of the world but if they don't ha- they don't dictate anything do you just get rid of them no no i'm not saying get rid of anything what i'm saying i think tigran is trying to say and i know uh sometimes it's certain things are uh lost in, in expres- expression expression translation yeah mm. uh but i think that's wh- i don't know if Uh, am I understanding it correctly, or I don't know what you're? 
interpretation. Mine was basically going back to what he was saying about the Bible being written by certain people mm -hmm. trying to control a certain culture or demographics or religion or culture, whatever it is, is basically the same thing as whoever the higher powers are having the media control the rest of whoever it is, whoever whoever is down as far as the 99 percent the other one percent is basically writing their own bible as so to control everybody absolutely is that and what I, is that where we're going yeah but but see see this is such a great example again for the, for those of you listening on spotify i did a quote on the <laughs> bible part just so <laughs> no i'm gonna <laughs> do that too so <laughs> it's gonna go on me so uh, you know uh they they say old testament right yes so what do you think what is enlightenment like what is enlightenment in general uh, do you believe that people can be enlightened it all depends on what you consider to be enlightened in light what's enlightening in, to you in anything for example don't touch the 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 fire don't put your hand on the fire because it'll burn yes so but kid doesn't know right well the kid learns when he touches it absolutely so unless you teach the kid so that means and and it's not only kids even and if you teach them they still have to at least try it once, it once to yeah. know what it is so enlightenment is a human uh not only human but uh, we are more can be more advanced in enlightenment let's say than the other ones the other creatures right who understood that the stone can kill we use that stone they understood what stone can help. With, uh, like Shippaz, they understand that the stick can help to get banana. So they use it, right? We're very, very close to that. If you believe in enlightenment, so do you want to say that Old Testament is not, let's say, didn't give enlightenment to anyone who understands that Old Testament is old? Simple. Have any of you guys read the Bible? Yet? I can't answer no, that question because I, I haven't read the Bible. I did, and I, I'll tell you, I had a big, <laughs> like, fighter today. Uh, and uh, I think uh, a lot of people now gonna <laughs> don't like me. I was a <laughs> big, uh, how to say, protester of Iogova, you know, like uh, witnesses of... You Jehovah's know? Witnesses? Yes, yeah, Jehovah's yeah. Can't stand yeah. those Because my, no, uh, my, 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 <laughs> my, my aunt is a very great follower. I love her very much. But every time we talk about, and she knew that I'm very interested in, you know, like how the world is built, who we are, and all these philosophical questions. And, um, and I was telling her, aunt, if you want to tell me something, can you tell me something not from Old Testament? Let's talk some. You know, let's talk about something about New Testament. Why don't you, you talk? Want. Ask her about their uh, the Jehovah's Witnesses, for example. Because all this—that's also a team. If you, if you if you followed my a cult, you mean it's a cult? It's, yeah, it's a direction. I I don't want to say cult because it's too strong. Because a, a lot of people, you know why innocent people are there. Okay, I don't but want you know to why I call them. them a cult? Here's the difference. If you have to go door knock to get membership, because here's the thing, you will never see Christianity go door knocking to get people to come to their church. It doesn't. Ex Maybe they should. Maybe that's what's working. Maybe what th that's what the Christianity should do, right? Priests used to make house calls. They don't make that anymore, right? Yeah, it's the same way. <laughs> when you go, I have a feeling that Christianity is at war with everything else in this world at this point i'm not the biggest religious person in this world everyone yeah. that personally knows me would consider me almost atheist well i don't i have inner belief i'm not i don't follow the church i don't know anything about the bible but i personally understand that if i don't kill people i don't lie to people i don't cheat people out of their money i don't take what does not belong to me I'm good. I'm being a good human. That's it. You don't need it's values. To be. That's yeah. What it, that's what it brings to the table. Values. Absolutely. And that's the difference. What values we're talking about? Ethnical, social, American. You know what Armenian? triggered this entire conversation? You know, or human values. Do you want to know what triggered this entire conversation? <laughs> yeah. When you said open borders. <laughs> Maybe. 
No, I'm Look saying Look what one that, thing said. He said open I, borders. It just went into like this <laughs> deep <laughs> bullshit spiral into fucking religion and no, everything else. I didn't say open borders. We have to open it now. I said it goes to that. Do you believe in open it's borders? It's gonna go. Let's go back to what we were talking. Do you believe in open borders? Again. As in, like United States, Mexico, well, and Canada have open borders. I, I think he doesn't mean physically open borders. It's more so about non-existent borders. Okay. Do you believe we're gonna get Armenia, all Armenia, with no fight? No. With no okay. So that you answered your question. If there is a chance, but what I'm trying to say, they're gonna force that. We're going to go to open borders. Sooner or later, you want or not, it's going to go there. Otherwise, it's this planet has until you know, something it's, it's tickling clocks. Here's the thing. It'll, it'll be open borders until something catastrophic happens. Yeah. Uh, whatever happens, I'm saying it's going to go there. I remind my words. We're going to see. But please elaborate what you mean by open borders. When, uh, when... The domination, when the survival is a cult, what I think is an animal cult, survival. That's why I'm against for that. Why well, I'm thinking that the people has to talk about... That's nature. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's a cult. <laughs> You're telling me nature is a cult? Yeah, that's Bible. No, it's nature. <laughs> that's Bible. Are you, are you, are you, the Bible. Here's the thing. Are you, leaning towards, are you leaning towards New World Order, one religion, one power... One no, 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 no. You're oh, not leaning totally towards the right. Okay. <laughs> what are you talking no, about? No, I just want to. I just want to. Any, anyone that's against the I just want to get to. I, I just want to get to what exactly you mean by this whole open borders. I just want to understand what it is that you're trying to. I I think even your Soros comment is probably what why you're asking that question because mm-hmm. you said well, I agree with partially what you said. Yes, Soros in some of his interviews does talk about how. He's willing to destroy whatever structures that also. comes in his way. To, uh, yeah, to they get want to control it. So yeah. do you see values in Soros? I mean, the guy admittingly, being a Jewish man, helped kill more Jewish people just for his own personal survival. This is the man we're talking about, right? Absolutely. And, the, and the, you see that as the human value. And, and you know, I like, don't. I don't see a oh, human value. I, in that. I think everything that he said because look, <laughs> you're just no, the opposite no, of what he yeah. just said. In- English is your third or fourth language. I think fifth. 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 No, 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 no. I, uh, Man, I respect it, people that could speak languages. Well, hold me. No. Let's let's get to the bottom of this because a lot that of people joke, misunderstood yeah. the source yeah. comment too. Yeah, English is your third. Like you, your your first third. is Armenian, then Russian, yeah, then English, right? Right. So. His Soros comment was not about him supporting Soros's open society or no. values, or but that's what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, you are saying that. So what is it about Soros? You said I'm I love saying Soros. that Soros type of. You never person. said he loves Soros. <laughs> <laughs> no, you said. <laughs> you, you said Soros see, this is, is a perfect this is all guy. because of judgment, you know. Okay, no, see, I I misunderstood Don't ever, you, bro. This should be life lesson. Don't ever <laughs> use the word open borders ever again. Cause no, I, I said it's going to go there. Everything since that statement, everybody's we can misunderstood. Meet here yeah. in, in Every, 10 years. Yeah, everybody should be like this. What is going on here? What's his title at Osoros' company? <laughs> so the, I was going to ask how you for how long you think we're going towards. And you said 10 years. Yeah, in 10 years, you're going to already hit, ring the bell about it. If, if not sooner. That was going to be my next question. So... You guys think 10 years from now we're going to have open borders? No, no, no. I'm not saying that. No, getting gonna, close to it. Yeah, you're going to hear can the we define, logic. Can we define you, open you borders be before we talk about it, please? Yeah, the open borders, I, I'll tell you. It's free movement of every person uh-huh. in every country. Uh-huh. Let's say if every... In uh, and out, no passports, no bullshit. No, you might have. You don't have passports. You're going to have this. You're going to have Vaccine phone. Vaccine passport. But you said, you said gonna Soros is phone. logical, right? Yes, in Again, his l- mind. L- 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 stop and changing the topic. I, yeah. I want to. I want to finalize Absolutely. what this. What this whole open border <laughs> phone don't, thing is. Don't be. No, don't be surprised. <laughs> Hold on. Don't be surprised if you sat down in an interview, interview or conversation with Soros, and he convinced you that what he's doing is right. Yeah. Okay. No. 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 Please, wait. As may a I? Human be- okay. Good, let's that, that's that. how. May I say something? That's how let's powerful. You know how logical he is. I'll tell you, that half of the countries and governments support him give him money no he gives them money no let's say if they don't allow him to make money he's not gonna make money 
anybody can. They killed Berezovsky. They said they killed. I don't know they killed or not. But a lot of power they killed. Kennedy, come but on, that's guys. because most of the no. politicians are puppets. No, this is a different topic. Don't change the topic. So li- look, we if we're talking about Soros, and he still he has a power on 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 the same Pashinyan, you know. Oh. He, uh, yeah, that mm-hmm. means he is logical, or everybody is correct. He has a power on all Kennedy, uh, not Kennedy. What's the name? Bill Clinton's family. They are friends. They are saying even uh, Hillary Clinton said we need more heroes like Soros. So yeah, how da, 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 da. can she? Okay, let's that means he's logical, right? No, it's not like he's, he's the most crazy. Il- cra- he's the most anti-logical person. He, his direct statement from him was, as a young boy, he helped. The Nazis killed Jews. Him being a Jew helped them kill more Jews for his personal survivor. To me, that's right. just straight out selfish. Nothing else. I don't see anything mm, else there. Exactly Treason. the person Treason. you are talking about, the person who had to survive, and you are the you know like the uh, see, we're all manifester survivors, of right? survivors. So he did too. What's the difference? He he did that's his own way. Survival. Yeah, that's uh, oh, we, now we are going on the gra- you know grades What's of survival. survival. Who is gonna decide what is dirty or what is not? And, uh, uh, there are some situations, you know, that you say, okay, you have reasons. It's all about justifications, okay. right? No, he's, and he's these teams justify eighty percent of humanity has to go, and the planet is gonna be clean when seventy uh, percent of the planet would is you not, not busy. Would you not consider him a, a traitor? Who? So. Traitor is a political word again. Okay, you would know, you not co- going forget political? Say, would you not consider him a traitor for disgusting who? human being? Uh, if Soros came to you and said, "I don't know, I'm looking for a uh, forty-five million dollar mansion in Bel Air," <laughs> what would you do? That's a business transaction. W- why would you do business <laughs> with him? He's killed millions of people. No, as far as going back to what Social we were saying lives. about what Edgar said. Yes. He, him being a Jew, I would never in a million years. You can't mm. convince me, bro. Turn my back on my people. That's the yeah. point. There are Dude, people. Dude, I've, I've had conversations. Gonna do that. I've had conversations. <laughs> like I've had conversations me. with my wife where I've said, if shit hits the fan in this country, I'm willing to die in this country, in the United States. I'm willing to die to fight for what's right. Okay, so let's take Soros out of the equation. A billionaire comes from Turkey. And happens to be friends with Erdogan and Aliyev and that whole <laughs> Karuk. I don't know. I'm looking for a $45 million. You're asking the wrong person. <laughs> house in Malibu. What are you doing? You bet your Re- ass I'm going to be... Referring I'm, him I'm, to I'm, Hovik or... No, I'm going to be helping him buy a Why? house. In, because it's for me. Uh-huh. That commission is for me and my family and Save put food them, so on the table for my family. So, but, so as long as it's but, for you, no, but it's you're, okay no. for him to you're, move you're, into you're, the you're between me and him. No. If I was a real estate agent, no. they came to me with that same question, what would my response wait, be? Wait, Spas, wait. You're, compa- you're comparing See, a real a estate... Difference. We're wait, humans, bro. You're comparing a real estate transaction, which he's not even paying me for. He's not paying me for it. The seller is paying me for it. Mm-hmm. Okay. You're comparing that, me making monetary money off of a seller to somebody who's selling out his people for his people to die in order for him to survive. I mean, how did this it's guy It's not a fair uh, comparison. Not a fair why, comparison. Why, why Even not? at that comparison, we have two different mean, human why beings. Not? Like, I would not take that million dollars. Knowing that it has ties to that piece of shit, I have the values inside of me that says, no, I understand this, man. I respect people that can do that. He says, this is business. I don't have that personality. I don't. For me, values and that's and that's are exactly way more and important that's exactly than exactly how Soros convinces people. China is investing four hundred billion into Iran, fifteen billion into Armenia. Why? Because again, you well, the comparison you made was wrong. Why you is can't it wrong? compare a real estate transaction to somebody who had people killed for his benefit. But that person, that, that person involved in the real estate transaction, is is what part of that circle? What circle? I just told you. What circle? He's from Turkey. He's a billionaire, okay. and he comes from who's that circle. Who's paying me? Doesn't matter who's no, paying you. you're making money, and these are the people that are going to. You're getting paid Simple because that. this guy is buying something. Okay, he's Doesn't buying something. Doesn't matter who's paying you. But you're comparing, like I said, you're comparing. Let's say you're the real estate agent. Transaction. No. You're comparing a real estate. Tra- okay, I, bro, you can't. It's okay. equal housing opportunity. I can't even say that on this freaking show. 
Are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't want to take it. There. So that's my point. Uh, you're going to confuse each other with questions all the time because of this. You can go from this side, from the, there. Is, there was a Russian officer who, you know, Armenians were talking, you know, in this talks about Russia is going to help or not and stuff. And he said very nice thing. He said, do you know guys where Putin meets uh, American president? Like Trump, do you know where they meet? Davos. No, they meet in Baku, and it happened several times. And he said, if if Putin were feeling comfortable to meet in Yerevan, he would meet in Yerevan. But he feels comfortable to meet in Baku. And why they meet in Baku? Because there is oil. Because because these are those values so that are bringing these people those weapons and they can buy it and this is all about talks millions dollars and those are billions of yeah oh billions no what i'm i said about our talk about million dollars 45 million and so i mean these are the numbers that are creating or shaping values that are not human values for me it's animal values social values do you think you can stop that i don't think I can stop that or Do you think I don't it think ever it's stop? impossible. It is possible, but it is possible when you and me share human values. Great. We don't share. We, when, we, when you teach your kid to understand human values instead of, you know, co in the c competition to be winner and be the best. You don't and, teach competition. It's nature. And that's what I'm trying absolutely. to tell you. When you play, okay, my kids are very very anti i don't they, don't they don't play any sports at all birthday party comes they're playing musical chairs they want to win the damn game it's it's nature i never told my kids hey you make sure you push your cousin and sit on that chair no it's nature telling that kid i want to win this game it's simple nature have you have you have you ever noticed that if you don't stop your kid what's gonna happen if you don't you teach mean? your kid for example if you uh try to uh, when whenever you say don't put an apple and say don't touch this apple what's gonna your kids they're say? gonna touch they're it. gonna right. take that apple so you you are trying you can cut to an apple put it there they won't eat it but yeah. if you say hey don't touch this apple why they do that then it's nature nature why you are wh why you're behaving your kid why you're saying when the i'm saying don't touch don't touch right so it's also in nature so see i don't i'm not I'm not big fan of manipulating when it's comfortable for me or for the topic to say this is good, this is bad. This is I know one thing is good, one thing is bad. Sticking to our animalistic uh, lifestyle. lifestyle is going to bring all the, our future to some one crazy man's decision that couldn't happen like Soros having a button who can push it. I'm glad you said he's crazy. No, I it's it's one it's crazy man. Logical crazy. One he's gonna have his justifications. He's gonna say, okay guys, with his team, he's gonna say, okay guys, or whole human species are gonna die in this global warming, or we have to have a bigger team decide how many Armenians are gonna leave. How many Russians are going to leave? Let's bring all the smart guys and put on one ship and destroy the rest. Yeah. And let's start upgrade of the world and start living from the beginning. Now we create a new society. That's what is going right now. That's what is going for. That's why people not building the houses in these huge territories. They are building the you know underground tunnels. What are you talking about? They're spending billions, and you think they cannot, these teams, they cannot under, uh, uh, shape uh, the structure of social living in a way so we can live in different places and still have an access and be happy to live with our families, you know, let's say 20 miles away or 70 miles away. They can do that easily, but nobody does that. Why? Because they are thinking the same way that we, you're saying. Why he has to do for it? For somebody it's not uh, you know survival so that's what I'm trying to say and it's I, I know the brutal Armenian thinking in a way but I wish I, I, I have to disagree I think that yeah. that same brutal army 
a way of thinking you're talking about it's not brutal enough is the reason where we are today that's that's what somebody else can Sorry. say and same says Erdogan yeah and that's what humans are exactly uh, and let's welcome that I'm not gonna welcome no 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 <laughs> I get what I, you're you're telling me you're telling me I wish Erdogan wasn't like that and the Armenians weren't like that that's what you're telling me you're no. you're saying let's I wish everybody was no, just I'm not nice saying to one another I wish I'm saying how it's where going. We're, we're gonna f- yeah where it's gonna go you want that or not that's gonna go there if I tell you during the Soviet Union that somebody can use biological weapons on kids you would say are you crazy who's gonna use biological weapons on kids but now we're good about Syria we just saw phosphorus we're good. you saw phosphorus used by Azerbaijan a year again ago. again I, I'm, I'm that's why I'm saying it's gonna go guys it's not about Armenia or Syria or I don't know where Palestine or uh, Israel or whatever it's gonna go that's human nature we don't come out of it we're gonna get it in Armenia in France in somewhere and s- there will be some people who's gonna push the bottom that's what I'm thinking but it's it's my opinion I mean and that I button might anything. be just population control too could be could could be even more <laughs> <laughs> who knows why they are building this space station in Mars who knows Nobody knows. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> but the ten yeah. years that I'm so glad you said the ten year mark. Like I think even sooner. Sooner than ten years. Yes, unfortunately, or fortunately, do I don't you, know. Do you think there's gonna be parts of the world that don't take part in what you're saying? I think China is gonna be a huge player, huge player in this part because of the nature of what they are doing right now. I mean, I was in China, I, I could see. I even called to my, you know, to my family, and I said, if the education becomes very good in China, the world belongs to them. Because the culture and the way they have their own um, way of going, winning where did you things. Where did you visit China? Many places. Did you leave any of the main cities? Yes, mostly Beijing. How are they living? Chengdu. Good, very good. How Every is that good? I mean, very good. Well, well, okay, so we're seeing two <laughs> different things. I've never been to China. I but seeing that people are renting a coffin-sized place to live as their personal space, where we have people... Recently, we were talking to someone who had 2,600 square feet for four people wasn't enough. It's the same. And you're talking about China. You're, you have this in downtown here. It's not you have coffin-sized spaces. No, even our I mean, uh, homeless shelters are bigger personal spaces. Yeah, because all I could say is one thing. After seeing what happened at Foxconn in China, yeah. I would never, ever, ever live or support that country. Why you need to support or live there? I don't know. I'm not living they, or they supporting there. there. That's the, the issue. You is see, they don't you need you. There. You see the people. How what what type of lives they live? It's so sad. People, they put safety nets because people were committing suicide, jumping off of buildings because the, because of yeah, the they're life. They're getting paid two dollars to make a night. Are you kidding me? For for who? Would for, you, for would you think uh, a year and a half ago, or two years ago, if they're gonna use such a brutal weapons against the Armenians, the world is gonna shut and not talk? Yeah. They just would you think that that yeah. United States and Russia they're gonna stay quiet uh, if not participated by quiet? Would you think that? Yeah. Then why all these people who are on the top of the chain food they were putting the money on their pockets instead of building up the they're absolute morons that doesn't protect. that does not allow for the rest of the Armenians to think that anyone cares. I agree this with you. This just showed you no one cares. I agree with you, but Armenians are the ones who are today bring that person or that person, the other person, to the top of their food chain, right? So our mentality, our way of understanding who is good, who is bad, bring those people, corrupted people, on the top of our food chain. And you are talking about Armenian mentality. And the same is everywhere. And you can say it's nature. Okay, let's say it's a nature. We are all corrupted. And let's see no. who's going to be there and let us be there and do uh, uh, for our go- good for our people. That's how it works. And what if not us there? <laughs> what if somebody else is, is there? 
and it's it's right now goes like that and if you if you can notice not armenians are there united states russia or jewish france. people i don't know france who whoever is there we're not there and we still believe that we can do something going there with our mentality that brings these corrupted idiots to kill our country what Come do you on. what would you think is the only way to save armenia Today. I think we have to <laughs> be on the Somehow ground. Somehow we just <laughs> push the button. No, no we back have to. to Armenia. We have button. to aggressively build, bring build, build. the idea of human values, not 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 ethnical values, Hence not social values. We have oh to man. understand. And I, I'll tell you, it is all otherwise. Gre otherwise, we don't have anything. Greed and power will never allow that. You have to change human beings Tigran, the what you're saying you're then, saying human then, values then we don't have a then there is no way guys yeah there is what, what's push the, the what's button strong have yeah. a button no 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 there's two different things L all push these the major countries <laughs> in the world <laughs> have the button you're saying by human values and this and that Erdogan is sitting in front of you and you're talking to him like that he goes what are you gonna say no it's uh, no that's what he's saying ideology yeah like okay, it's his opinion right Okay, I'm going to come and nuke you. I'm going to take everything out. We're going to take our lands. We're going to kill all the Armenians. What are you going to say to that? That's not their I'm lands. not going to say, you know what? Wait for Again, 200 years until Armenians. I got smart and my culture becomes not corrupted. Again, so our kids what? make weapons and I kill you instead of me. No. What are you talking no, no, no. about? Today, you need to worry about making a defense. Look, Armenia has never been the attacking Guys, we're too, we're just been too far away from defense. Russia is not sure about his defense united states is not sure about his defense uh, japan japan is not sure See, and you're thinking the, about the Armenian larger defense your country with corrupted idiots? the larger country you have the harder defenses you have a tiny armenia right you have a tiny country the jackass leaders you're absolutely right yeah. about yeah we you, agree you, with you on that you talk but you only way to survive to who can push the button today and i i have i have some resources and they have if you know this new new systems that they have it's not new no no Lenagan, you're from Lenagan. i'm talking about avant-garde systems they can kill continents in one button guys yeah and you're talking about armenia is small we can protect come on they can <laughs> if they count your armenia some with all of the world of, some of those <laughs> weapons unfortunately you know what happened yeah. armenia let go of russia's hand that's why they lost i don't know it's <laughs> again you go it's to miserable. politics i don't care about it's politics miserable. but I care about what you said. Putin said that what we want, need to do, we you need to go push be West, the bottom. You want to go be westernized? Guys. Go be westernized. Go be westernized by Me? yourself. No, no, no. Putin said it's Armenia. Yeah. You want to go be westernized? Go be westernized by yourself. Yeah, and that was logic of Soros making the person. And look People at believe in him. That's that's all I can and say. Look okay. what happened. That's uh, honestly all these countries and stuff and <laughs> weapons and boo boo boo. This is big. I don't know, but I know one thing. When you're saying the future of Armenia to have that bottom, I'm really worried about Armenia. Because what you're going to you make show from me your one kid. country that's had the button and it's been attacked? Show me one country that has the button but has been attacked. It doesn't exist. It's a, it's a more of a defensive Russia. Def Russia what? They took Ukraine, they took Kyrgyzstan, they took all influence. Oh, no, but they Russia. have the weapon. Those countries they're taking from don't have the button. Yeah, but right? but Russia could put the button in order to not lose brother country Ukraine. Guys, they are taking Ukraine from Russia's influence. I I think uh, I don't know how how you under how you look at Russia as a country as a as a as a, as a uh, let's say as a historical power and having like people Soros and team or whoever they are having um, taken the countries from the influence like this yeah it's, it's the, different the world so the it's Soros world. team that you're talking about has infiltration in all aspects of that, politics yes all aspects and what does that and all countries that means he has a logic right and his logic is working no 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 his logic has yeah. brought you the same pricks that are running your armenia selfish same. assholes Absolutely. just like 
Soros, selfish assholes in so power. So before before Soros, we don't have assholes. Before Soros, we could have a nuclear bomb. Guys, we, what we are had you nuclear talking bomb. about? What, America is the only country that's ever nuked any other country. Yeah, and this is a different topic. <laughs> <laughs> we're changing we're topics, talking, jumping see, here's from topic to topic. Today, Japan has that power to defend yeah. itself. And the reason they have that power to defend themselves? Mihan Kam Kirilin. So my <laughs> thing is, it, <laughs> so my thing is, have the uh, power of that button as a defense role. Because think of it this way. Turkey is not nuking Armenia. Do you understand why, right? Any nuke on Armenia will take out half of Turkey and Iran. And some of Georgia. And Azerbaijan. <laughs> well, I wish it does take the whole Azerbaijan, but... The land not is any still nuke. Not but any it, nuke. I, you get it. It's going to affect more people than that, right? Yeah. That's why it's better to have the safety button. It's more of a safety. It should Guys, say green security I, I'm button. I'm not saying not having security button or having security button. You want to have it? I, I, as far as Armenia goes, I've always said on this podcast that as an outside Armenian, as an person that does not live inside Armenia and haven't served that country I don't even deserve the right to talk about their politics I I just don't deserve it if I were to go pick up a gun and fight for that country then I would deserve to talk about that country if I had paid taxes in that country then I would deserve the right to talk in that country yeah, That's for a just guy who does, doesn't deserve to talk you sure do a lot of talking about that <laughs> you know he was live with Edgar <laughs> I Sorry can, guys, you know this. <laughs> I is, don't deserve to no, talk. No, actually, when I said when you said about that taking weapon, going um, to fighting for that country, that's that's something very painful. I'll tell you why because a lot of people who we programmed or our, I'm saying we because I also uh, right now talk as a part of society, like Armenian society, ethnical society. We programmed about Armenia. A lot of our young boys, they went in fifth generation war with that mindset. And, and, and our, I'm sorry, assholes, I'm going to say that. They were saying, we never, no, they knew what's happening on the, on the field. But they were saying, oh, go, more people, go, come, come, more people. Population instead of much? that, instead instead of that, we didn't have already maybe two thousand years a king or a or somebody who can say, guys, let's have this is beautiful culture with amazing potential, intellectual potential. Let's just shut up and work and make our our future the most advanced society in the world and and i am from kumri don't forget i remember how after earthquake those people you are talking about they were taking the help simple help that came to us and they were selling so to azerbaijan yeah and who were doing it armenians Armenia. we are society that didn't prove for 2000 years that we are able to create that button the more you right now call our society for that weaponization, the more kids we're going to lose instead of... And beautiful kids. Beautiful kids who could be the one who can do Create that, that button. button. Yeah. See, and, my, and, and, my and, issue. No. and now... Let me show you yeah. my issue. Sorry. This yeah. is turning into just a... Me and you conversation, oh, sorry. I'm number go ahead, three. Go ahead, which one I think you? I'm number two. You guys can go ahead and do that. That's fine. <laughs> so here's the thing. Oh, I just lost my train of thought. So Because there's... I can get into it with a couple people here, but yeah. I'm gonna just... Yeah, I'm about to like... <laughs> I'm biting my tongue as well. They're making it too easy. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> what's going on? I'm not paying no, attention no, to you, the no, no, comments. No, 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 you do you. It's live with Edgar tonight. <laughs> and our guest is Mr. Tigran. I'll, I'll be quiet <laughs> with the next one. Uh... So, where, where were we? I just lost my train of thought. What was your last comment that you made? I'm saying that, that these kids that were very little, I'll tell you another way, were very little. We cannot lose kids. 18 to 20 years old. It doesn't matter. Any kids, any Armenian, we cannot afford losing them because of some idiots on the top of the chain that we put. 
you know, call us for some of their purposes, like depends on Soros or I don't know the uh, Putin who serve because right now there are two servers, servants on the two top chain, right? And we we don't have that that uh, we we create some culture that is creating those people, right? We create people who are getting to that top and we let them go and become these people. Th me and you, if you're talking about social value, yeah, we, we are creating those people. The Robert and Sergix yeah. and Nicole. Not only, all Levons, these guys. All of them, yeah. to me, like, all four of them were the yeah, same trash to me. And same. as soon as, let's say, they were saying, Demir John and, you know, somebody wants to do that, Take they, them out. They, take them out. Take them out. And that's we are. So we agree with that, right? No, of course. Like there was three <laughs> powers in Armenia <laughs> until 1999. One of those three powers was simply taken out. Together. Two thousand years we don't have those powers. If you believe we're going to have now, I'm going to be the first one who's going to pray for it. And I'm praying for it. I but completely understand. But I'm you. talking about the disposition. Who we are and where are we? We're too far from science right now. Okay, let me, let's We're too far uh, competing, let's say, this, this world with United States or China or Turkey, you know, with the, what's the name, with the defensive systems and stuff. We don't have money. And we have on the steel. Who is, who is fighting to, to rule the Armenia? The bigger issue is the leaders, not the money. I feel no. like Armenians will come up with the money. Who are the right these leaders? leaders? The same people that live in Armenia. I mean, after the war, I heard an 80-year-old man saying, whoever pays me the most is the person I'll vote for. After everything you just saw at the age of 80. And we and bring back Serge and somebody like Serge. Uh, and it's on. ridiculous, right? Yeah, that's that's that's. But that's where are. it's headed. That's where it's headed right now. Yeah, you have no choice except going back it's to Old Testament. Guys, please. <laughs> this is, you know, it's uh, very... Uh, I understand. I understand. I understand. I have my own opinion on this, but I think, uh, I think we have to, if we are advanced, human beings first, and we want to be advanced Armenians <laughs> compared to with the inside of human beings. Then we have to have some more avant-garde thinking, right? More thoughtful thinking. What we can do because. Weapons, if it goes to weapons, then it's not on us. They're going to destroy us easily. Yeah. We have to find alternative way of bringing Armenia to some other level, right? You only level you can do is strengthen up. You have to get stronger. It's just like, it's the same thing. It's just... Uh, it's easy to <laughs> say have to. I understand. You're going to lose until you get stronger, until you lose everything. Why do you think there's nationalities that don't have I, their I, lands no more? No, I just because they weren't strong enough to keep their lands. They need to be more strategic than just strong. Absolutely. You have yeah. to, they have, wh what what's the strong. strategy? What We're late to be strong. You know, We have to be strong in something else. You have Alternative. To be po politically st strategic so that the bigger countries... Some would rely on you for certain things, passageway, whatever that happens to be. Well, and unfortunately... Uh, but they're pushing you. You're so weak. They're pushing their passage on you. So that's how weak you are at this point, where that passage you're talking about, they're pushing it well, down your throat. Well, that passage was right after the war. That's why. Well, something had to happen to get to that no, point, right? Uh, something had to have happened even long time ago. But even today, you still have to be strategic. You can't be a moron like the ones that have been leading the country for 30 years. Um, even if a passage was created, the passage was going to become their own personal passage. That's the problem. You know, uh, we've never... Uh, but, again, I mean, this Armenia thing, <laughs> I just... Yeah, I mean, let's stay away from the Armenia thing, but... But but yet you're still gonna <laughs> continue. <laughs> he says, "You know what it is. Some topics are near and dear to some of some of us, and some are." Well, some know? of us are more liberal than others. Like, bro, I just saw that. Apparently, look, look at the last one. Arno is the most liberal. <laughs> I, I I don't know what to tell this guy. Naro, I'm seeing all your comments, and all I could do is just laugh at you, bro. You're pathetic, bro. I swear to God, uh, you don't have a real name. Naro Naroyan, I highly doubt that's your real name. Um, 
Is you that his real name? I don't know. I it probably yeah. isn't. It probably isn't. Bro, you're it, honestly you're just a troll on Facebook <laughs> and YouTube. That's all I could say. <laughs> I mean, it's not it's not worth it's the time and the effort to put into getting into an argument with you. You want to think we're three liberals? Go ahead and think we're three liberals. I'm actually a uh, transvestite. <laughs> a liberal lesbian Transgender. ice yeah. hockey champion. Yeah. <laughs> Weights lifts on the side. <laughs> 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 weightlifting is his hobby see too. you're a troll bro that's all you are i'm not no. again that's all you're getting from me meaning you're not like the troll simple as that you're trolling bro that's i mean what else can i tell you no. you have too much time on your hands so here's the thing yeah, we do this podcast um, with the state of mind that we have to respect one another this is a conversation am i gonna agree with every guest no here? it's a conversation it's impossible do i respect this man 100 oh, percent. so i would love for everyone to comment with respect and dignity towards Absolutely. one another because this is simply a conversation i have full respect for the man sitting in front of me and giving me a conversation yeah. that's number one how was it um i'm assuming there are people who want to talk to me right no, no. <laughs> not only you actually <laughs> <laughs> they started going after these two guys for okay. some reason well, I don't know. well no throughout okay guys uh simple if you if you enough smart you can understand what if i can say of so course of you course. can understand that um um that you know you cannot um beat uh anything without tools right tools made us human as a as a human so the question is what tools we have in w if we are talking about armenia what tools we have survival we had that we will survive separately but you're talking about the country survival right border survival or whatever this is a social political structure that has to make us survive and so far we didn't even bring our land back our land was given because of soviet union was collapsed right and you see why we cannot and, rely uh, on any other country no what i'm saying if there are some <laughs> commenters they have to go and try to do that not sitting here and commenting right yeah so and and you are talking about uh, Armenians, I I would love again to talk about, let's say, uh, our minds that made Armenians to be proud of that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we're not about you know like and those people are mostly trying to advance science, right? Advance sport, advance to bring something. They are training every day, even to be a champion. How? how you are happy like to, yeah, to hear yeah uh, even a, like a simple wrestling match right and i see an armenian guy just beat the shit out of this turk bro like literally chills down my spine that's just how passionate i am about that but that doesn't mean everybody has to be like that i have i have respect for people who have a different opinion absolutely and 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 uh, what i'm trying to say is better if you if people want to do that something for their country is the best to become as a representative of a country something valuable yeah. and value that is not in of course if we get a powerful value i mean kirk kirkorian was one of the powerful person but he he, he even couldn't you know he five times turned down the musade musadak the production days. of it yeah the production of it did he I not believe in the project? I have a friend who owns it. No, because it, it's not right time. He was afraid. He was afraid to do that. I think so. It's my opinion. But he turned it down several times. And there are names who were doing it, and I know these names. Why he was doing it? He was powerful or he was also transgender? Come on, guys. The power is today we have to look for the new source of power we can have not the nuclear bomb <laughs> maybe if somebody does that and we can protect ourselves with those buttons <laughs> or with those nanotechnologies it's great so you're saying better to invest in nuclear defense than nuclear power no i'm saying better to invest in you as a human being valuable for the humanity at all if you will be somebody valuable for the humanity, probably they will say, you know, this Armenian saved the humanity. That's, I don't believe that. 
Okay. Because you know why I don't believe it? With everything you, Armenians have given to this world, when we were getting attacked, everybody turned a blind eye. Everyone just didn't see it happening. Same you can everybody. say to many cultures, especially Jewish. Jewish people gave a lot to this world. Jewish people have yeah. been exiled from more countries than any Absolutely. other race. Absolutely. That's why I'm saying. No, no, no. You don't they exile a whole exile. race for no reason. <laughs> yeah, then they're gonna say the same to Armenians too, guys. Uh, please, I am, I am, I'm, I'm very. Uh, at least they ha- can be proud of something they got their country back, and they are one of the most powerful countries. We don't do that. We didn't do that. You know, if we, when we do it, and if we do it, I hope we will do it. I hope. But who is gonna do it? The w- the guys who is gonna. Uh, you know, muscle their fingers on the computers, making comments, or the ones that gonna go and learn and sit down and understand how they can make this life better and find alternative tools as a human being to become, to protect themselves. Who's gonna do that? The more we call for who, who, the more l- kids we're gonna lose. That's what I am saying. And. That's what showed this war. That's disgusting. You know, we call for who, Armenian who, let's go, let's go, go defend Armenia. How, how and they, they went to that fifth generation war. How did they cover all of their, their uh, doings? Who? The, uh, Azerbaijan, how? The media complicit 100%. Okay, but who was controlling their side of uh, social media and all that? I mean, I would say the same country that's so great over the last 60 years of having a country did amazing work on all ends of being a huge part of that work. Huge. Much bigger than we thought. Okay. That 60-year-old country that didn't... So then... Yeah. So then ultimately, instead of, again, you talk about nukes, you got to be smarter about Nuclear proliferation it has, there's this document where all these countries sign into not bombing one another. Right. Ironically, there's only one country that is not signing that, and it's not Iran. You understand? So all these countries sign a pact. We have the nuclear capability. We will not use it on other countries. And we allow for this uh, organization to come in and check how our nukes are at this moment. Right, but there's only one country that's not a part of it, and uses that organization against every other country. I think the it's irony at its finest. I think the nuke age is gone. I get, you're absolutely right. It's getting much bigger than that. That's why I'm talking about. We have to find tools for the future. You that's mentioned it. lasers. No lasers. We had lasers. We've uh, during know, communist era Armenia. But had. but but there are some. Uh, let's say we breathe air. That's where we you cannot avoid a lot of things, right? If somebody puts something in the air, like viruses and stuff, That's or something else people. tomorrow because of the nanotechnology and, and the water, yeah. So these are these are more important. We have to try to protect ourselves using our kids and our mind and potential for those tools for the future. And who's gonna do that? <laughs> not the guys we have now. Absolutely. But and do you think you and, and not I are the guys we have ever had yet on this on this scale, you know, wi- what we are operating with. But so that's you and I are no help in America though. No, okay. It's the same if uh, you again you are I'm saying I'm not saying it to you, I'm just saying it to myself no, first. Yeah, I, I, I understand. Uh, this this is what I'm saying that if we can fight for human values at all for any country, regardless where we are, regardless, because most of the money went to Armenia through the through through the people who were, you know, surviving in different countries, right? Yes. Russia, United States. Those Armenians are sending because we we care about it and we <coughs> need. Till now, we are sending money back, right? Yeah. So, uh, and that's that's also a help, some kind of a help. But how we can help? We cannot build nuke here. Right, we cannot no, use, we, we use a country. So that's so another it's, point. It's, we it's make the best <laughs> immigrants. Armenians make some of the best immigrants all across the world. We take part in building those nuclears for other countries, 
we're really good at building it outside of Armenia. Right. Right? Potential. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. We have a great potential and we are not using it. And those people who have potential are forced with the politics of our country and social system to go leave the country to find themselves somewhere else. That's part of what the enemy wants. So here's the thing. Your enemy doesn't give a shit if they're killing an Armenian. Okay. A, for a Turk, any Armenian flying outside out of Armenia for good is just as good as that. No, I don't, I don't think shit. so. I, I, that even, whole diaspora they, being the backbone of Armenia, I don't believe in it. I think it's BS. At least it was articulated, you know. Well, with it's some, great articulation. Yeah, no, I mean, the BS. enemies articulated that the much more danger about Armenia is not Armenia, but the diaspora. You know, it was like articulated by those guys. Uh, I, I'm not saying I'm not protecting anything. We have to be inside or we don't have to be inside. I would honestly say if you are able to heal Armenia and you need good education and some asshole, is corrupted asshole, is not letting you there to learn something, get the hell out of Armenia, learn and try to help later on. You know, try to get something, education, where this... Come on, guys. Our, our universities our, are the our most repats. corrupted places. Yeah, but our repat rate is people less than become, 1%. People become teachers not to educate Armenia, but to take a corruption c money from the students. What are you talking about? That's wh what is... what is. If, if we're going to... And still, do we have alternative? Let's say, do we have alternative president today that you believe going to build a good Armenia? Today, do you I have do. it? No. Everybody, everybody's going to be voting for no. a group. No. I'm far and, away and, from and running and why a we don't have. I'm if we have a great that. potential, we have great minds. And let me let me tell you, if somebody tells you or somebody tells an engineer, I know a young guy who is an engineer of American drones. He made an invention. He's here. I mean, I, I see him almost, you know, twice a week. Yeah. He's still, I mean, even they had meeting Armenian government with this guy to help to create this, you know, drones and stuff. What do you think, do you think, I don't know, honestly, but I know their me that meeting was there. Yeah, I get the meeting was so there. No, 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 I'm saying, do you think if we tell this person, bring that person to Armenia and say, okay, you rule Armenia, it's going to be good? Rule Armenia? Yeah, or, or create the drones in Armenia. Do you think he's going to be able to create those drones? No, because high technology... The components are not there. Yeah, team. It's a teamwork. And that's what I'm saying. If you want to te Armenia to team up, please don't push to Old Testament. Okay. Let's team up about the future Testament, about New Testament. What are we going to do? I'm not saying about religion. If some people understand that I'm talking about religion... Uh, I'm talking about the tools that can protect Armenia, Armenian ethnicity or human and culture. Because when you're talking about ethnicity, I responded it that it's not a big of a deal. More of big of a deal for me, Armenian culture. Because it's unique you and it's Armenian. You don't think our culture and ethnicity are connected to one ethnicity another? Ethnicity is a political world, uh, is a in the world <laughs> also. I'm talking about culture, let's say your family, how they, what values you have and how those values can be exposed okay, but and open as a treasure. Not too many ethnicities are left. There's countries, there's people like um, American is not a, an ethnicity, right? It's culture. a culture. You understand? There's not too many ethnicities left. And that whole Soros thing you're talking about is to get rid of ethnicity. What, That's what his I was logic. talking about Soros. You no, know. the person, Soros himself? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not know, supporting another, Soros. Another They're going to think I'm, I'm supporting Soros. I'm a no, no, Soros My person. thing is, as uh, Ed, Soros uh, being Just logical. to clarify, did you have a tongue sandwich on Friday or chicken? <laughs> yes, yes, I had a tongue sandwich. You switched it from chicken to tongue? Yes, I Why? did. Why? Because I didn't see the tongue sandwich until you ordered it. And then when you oh, start talking, John, like, you're right. Big bite. So it reminded me of big bite. <laughs> How was the tongue? No, it was really good. Fucking actually. guy won't shut up tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's real tender. All right, I'm gonna oh, be really? quiet from now on. Really good, actually. You guys go ahead. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm, I mean, is there anything I'm else to quiet talk, for the rest talk, of the day. Is there day, anything man? else to talk about? <laughs> we're we're almost two and a half hours in. Wow. We're two forty five. We're two and a half Crazy. hours. Three Let's almost see. three Hold hours. On. Enjoying the shit out of it too, actually. Yeah, I'm sorry. We're two forty five actually. I lost track of time. There we go. But uh you know what? I really do appreciate well we appreciate, especially <laughs> Edgar. <laughs> you taking time out of your Monday to be with us. To be with so, Edgar. <laughs> <laughs> to be with Edgar. Thank you, Tigger. So hold appreciate on, everybody you, was asking about the shirt. Okay, guys, here's a, before you play the music. Here's the thing about the shirts. <laughs> on Instagram. There is a shirt company that's constantly advertised, and I'm sure guys see it more because of the algorithms. It's called uh, Freshly Tees. I don't know if you've yeah, seen, I've it, seen right? it, yeah. It makes where you look skinny. It makes you look skinny. It, yeah. uh, it hugs your arms. Yeah. It does it, feel comfortable, yeah. though. Okay. You got to give props to Elena for this, my wife. She did some research on this. Freshly Tees is actually buying the shirts from... Uh, Jiffy, let me tell you right now. Jiffy Lube. Jiffy, JiffyShirts.com. And again, this isn't a paid advertising. Edgar and I are wearing the same exact shirt. This is a Jiffy shirt with its Jiffy brand, and it's called the Next Level. That's the brand. That's the actual manufacturer. What they do is they take the tag off, they slap on the Freshly tag, and they sell it at a higher price. And I overpaid like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Freshly says they sell you the price that you don't have to pay 50 bucks, 60 bucks for the shirt. Guys, I got this shirt for like $3. Yeah, I think it cost me like $3? 14 bucks. I got shirt. the shirt for $3. I have the same shirt and I paid it's $14. The same shirt. shirt. I paid three bucks for this. He paid $14. The same shirt. Three bucks for a shirt? Wow. It's and really this, comfortable. And it's probably shirt. the most. Co- and the way Freshly advertises it, I'm, I, I'm not kidding you. It is, it is it the is. most comfortable t shirt. They come in V necks. Everything so, uh, jiffyshirts.com, and it's the next level brand. See, they're saying it looks <laughs> fatter today. I guess the aftermarket's even better. I've been eating well, I've been eating well. No, his fit is actually nice, or yours is the wrong size. I don't know. I think oh. his is the wrong size, maybe. I don't know. I just yeah, I come to it's my first time. Next time, I'll wear the let's see what happens next time. Yeah, give me a color be. so I don't we don't they, we don't yeah, look we'll like text from now on. What do they have? Yeah, I got ma- this four pack. Did you get a four pack? They only no. have. They I, only no, have. I, bu- uh, I brought two of each shirt. I bought. I have like every single color. No, they I only have gay colors or manly <laughs> colors too. Uh, well, I went with the gay pack. <laughs> <laughs> What's it called? A, huh? The fruit cake package. <laughs> fruit Loops. Fruit Loops. Type in hashtag Fruit Loops for Jimmy a discount fruits. code. But uh, but yeah, that's 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 the shirt basically. That's the shirt. What a Johnson. Okay, so John said if you were wearing the sh- same shirt, that would be gay. You're wearing the same kind of shirt. So yeah, we're wearing the same kind of shirt. Sorry, Sorry John. That's, Sorry. A, that's an attorney being an analytical person. But uh, other than wow. that, but that's what makes you a good lawyer. Everybody else, you don't John anything you want to end with? No, no, just thank you. And whoever stayed so long to hear our thoughts, it's thank you, everybody. And we appreciate you, you taking time out of me. Again. Thank you for coming, Tigo. Yeah. Appreciate the conversation. Everybody yeah. else, thank you for transitioning with us from Facebook to YouTube. We'll work on trying to get us back onto Facebook and maybe double stream, but I like it here more. <laughs> so Yeah, I enjoy YouTube. You? Yeah. I honestly like Facebook better, but will I adjust? Yes. Let's there, do it. There you go. Uh, follow us on Instagram. Our daily memes are back up. We're offending people again. Uh, Naro Narek, go play on the 405. Asatur, everybody hates you. I mean, guys. <laughs> Asatur is irrelevant as this yeah, point. at this point. Yeah, and I, I guess. Think, I think Naro is going to become the new Asatur. Probably. You see what you did to yourself? I don't think we should give him the attention. Everybody else, we got another special guest next week. Love you. Have a great week. Have a great weekend. Peace out. Mwah. Love you. <laughs>